hit that button, and then it says that it's streaming, which means that it actually is, though it never specifically is. And so then I wait for this to come up to say excellent connection, and then people have heard me talking for a little while. Guys, I want to thank you, uh, not thank you, I want to welcome you to the lore reloaded while i'm sitting here trying to multitask and do things at the exact same time we're doing star trek adventures of course uh something that we just have fun with we just do it you know at the uh at the end of the week to give you guys something to do a uh, good reason to pull friends together and to just try to justify basically doing pen and paper it's a lot of fun i got cute fuzzy weasel with me and uh as always i also have uh Venom Geek Media, how you guys doing? Oh, Great, thanks. You know, I'm I'm gonna use my voice for as long as possible till I have to switch permanently over to Gadget. Yeah, exactly. And then you'll even have to do it later tonight too. So, so there's there's that. It'll be a lot of fun for everybody. All right. So unfortunately, uh, he may come in later. But I know Fancy Lad was supposed to be here. He had every intention of being here. And for some reason is not. And Starfleet Boy just forgot that this existed altogether. So, you know, those are good things. We will uh, be having some pinch hitters coming in when others can't make it. Thanks to a great idea by Cute Fuzzy Weasel. So that'll be a lot of fun. But for today, it will just be, uh, it'll just be these two. And, uh, oh, let me get over here. And then I'm going to have something fun for, uh cute fuzzy weasel to do for me all right so weasel well thank you universal union i'm glad you like my haircut assuming you're talking to me it's it's a lot like i don't like what she did right here she completely took off like all the hair i'm not sure why but you know it's whatever oh what's what's going on arctic all right so uh weasel i need you to tell me i need you to say this okay yeah say last time on star trek adventures lower decks nope Say last time on Star Trek Adventures, Untold Stories. <coughs> uh, in my regular voice? Do you, do you think I bring you on here for your regular voice? Last time on Starfleet Adventures, Untold Stories. Star Trek Adventures. Yep, so now do it in the voice you know I want you to do. And do Star Trek Adventures. Star Trek Adventures, Untold Stories. Un Jesus, how many how many titles? It's real, does this it's real easy. How many titles? I, I, even, I even cut it down for you. But now you have to do last, all the time. No, last no, time. No, no, no. Last time on Star Trek Adventures, Lower Decks, Untold Stories. There you go. Last time on Star Trek Adventures, Untold Stories, Lower Decks, The Continuing Adventures. <laughs> Roleplay session number two. <laughs> Episode two. <laughs> Episode two. <laughs> Subsection one. <laughs> Finally, Finally, after months of hard training, our heroes had been assigned to their first posting, the USS Titanic L. Having made port at the US at, at the star base, Costa Concordia, they had returned from their mission on Chahala 4. After meeting with an energy being that had actually been the planet, the interaction did not go as well, resulting in a time shift where the Kitimer Accords never occurred. Now they were gearing up for another mission. Recently, they had received an SOS from an independent research station named Waco. It was bordered along the cardassian bajoran border, and they were asking for help. And this is where our heroes find themselves. On the USS Titanic, uh, now on the USS Titanic, it was determined that the vessel, being intrepid, was the fastest one in the area. So it was it was tasked with determining the issues that the station had, as well as rendering aid if need be. So the ship was well on its way towards Waco, which is going to be just an absolute fun and easy trip. Uh, halfway in, you guys are called into the meeting room again where the Bajoran executive officer is sitting. He motions for both of you to sit down, and he reaches over to hit a few um, buttons on the panel. What you see is the research station uh, up here, and it's actually a part, it looks like there's two sections to it. So you have section A, which uh, appears to be facing towards the sun, which is also a part of the holographic um, image. There's what looks like two tubes that run to um, a secondary part. Uh, he begins talking. He says that the, uh, 
The research station has been collecting and researching information about distant stars. It's believed that this area of space is unique given the relative closeness of the varying suns, causing them to often feed off each other. He uh, pauses a brief moment and then looks up at you, or so the story goes at least. He hits another button and the word classified pops above. The entire image turns red. And he says, in reality, the station is used by Starfleet intelligence. Uh, intelligence so far classified that even the captain can't get access to some of the systems or some of the information. What we do know is the station has been researching nanotechnology and the integration of organic and mechanical forms. Can't be completely sure, but there's the possibility that they have been looking at various techniques utilized by the Borg. So he looks up and he pauses a moment. Well, I mean, he's from the this new timeline, too. So does he know what we did? Is that what you ask him? It's like, hey, I just I just I want to I want to. You didn't happen to know if we changed time or not, right? Are you aware? Of... Yeah, you are aware <laughs> that you know, we, we came from another universe, right? Yeah, is, that, is that what you actually say to him? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think one of the things we, we'll establish. So I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. So, uh, what is the current situation along the Cardassian border? Um, you know, what is what is the recent history? Have the Klingons invaded, like they did in in my universe? I don't know if that specifically, <laughs> but have they have has, has there been anything? Any Klingon invasions? Any hostilities? Has there been any problems with Maquis or Bajoran resistance? Uh, anything like that? Or weird god creatures. <laughs> he he pauses a moment. He says, "No, it's been relatively quiet. Uh, Bajoran and uh, Cardassian hostilities have been down." The um, he pauses a moment. He says, "While there has been some Klingon activity, they appear to be holding their own in the areas that they uh, took during the uh, Cardassian Klingon War." Okay. So does he know we're from another universe, though? I don't. You can ask him. I mean, I don't. I don't know if you know. I don't know. I feel like we would have said that during the. Uh, the the the. How would you can approach it at this moment, I, if you'd like? How would you approach it, though? How are you gonna? Um. Well, you know, hypothetically, <laughs> if I had a friend who was perhaps from another universe. How how should I handle that? Is that what you're asking him? Yeah, you know, just hypothetically, if I had a friend who knew someone <laughs> who was, you know, from another universe, like a totally different timeline, uh, is there like a department they would need to go to? Some paperwork? What would they need to do? He looks a little confused. He says, "This, you know, this is a really important mission." I know. I'm just asking. <laughs> For a friend. <laughs> For a if, friend. If there was a temporal shift or a timeline changed, I imagine you would want to talk to temporal investigations. Okay. What if it was not them, though? <laughs> <laughs> what about not them? <laughs> well, he, he shakes his head. He says, what are you? Are ch has there been a time shift of some sort? I'm not implying that. I'm just uh, no. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I mean, who, who, who knows? We, we may never know. I, 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 I just, I just, I just, I'm just thinking, because I don't like the sound of temporal investigations. If, if we say, you know, you know, have you, have you watched this, this ancient Earth show? Have you watched this ancient Earth show? called called loki where and and they come across and like if you end up in a wrong timeline they they disintegrate you or maybe sliders you know where if you're in the wrong timeline gimli will just hang <coughs> around you <laughs> the point being I, do, I don't think we should uh we should you know press this issue i mean it's close enough i mean come on you know given given what the magnitude of, of what was said to the being, given what that what being, being went off. What are you talking about? What's going on? He looks between uh, the two. He's like, explain to me exactly what has occurred and what's happening. Uh, well, it, we, no, we were just talking about our last mission. You've read the report, right? 
It was it was the Sulaban and the um, time person, the shadow person from the future. Yes, yes, that's exactly what happened. It was Sulaban. So the Sulaban have went and changed the timeline. Uh, no, to... I'm not implying that. You know, it, look, look the. Uh, the Maybe go ask. Go I'm ask just, them. Like, how would you determine, or who would they? Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure he'll be just fine. He's gonna go open the gumbo chef restaurant <laughs> place in Louisiana. <laughs> it looks. The Bajoran looks completely confused. He's. What, what has a? Is there something in your mission brief that I missed, that that you think is impacting this mission? It's it's it's, it's um. So like the Borg are dangerous, right? <laughs> <laughs> he he nods his head. He says yes. The the Borg are probably one of the the largest enemies and threats to not only the quadrant but the universe we haven't okay. seen the borg since he paused a moment he says i think wolf 359 was the last major confrontation is there something going on that you need to tell me about no wait what <laughs> what year is this oh yeah that's a good point what year is this <laughs> it's 3257 now one second well, i'm i am i am your number. He says number. it's 2373. I'm going to need you two to go to the medical office. To the medical. <laughs> We're going to spend this whole med- mission just sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were the one that had to blab. Well, I'm, I, look, I am. I don't. I. Look, this is. Look. Look. <laughs> look. Look. <laughs> look. Look. Are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> no look <laughs> he reaches up and hits his comm badge he's like security to the meeting room <laughs> look this this crazy cation i i don't know maybe 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 they're in heat maybe they need to <laughs> go to their quarters <laughs> and sort, <laughs> sort themselves out look i i'm ready to you know, know proceed with the mission this guy is clearly you know Acting out some kind of, you know, heat fantasy or something. <laughs> I find that defensive. He, um, like it, like Latrem just stands up real straight now. He's like, okay, now that's that was uncalled for. <laughs> he, um, as you two are talking, two security guards walk in. And he's like, can you please escort these officers to the medical bay? Right. Uh, that, you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll, I'm, I'm happy see, for a Shabbik, check up. I'm happy. To I'm happy to see. Off. I'm happy. You had you to check your mouth off, Shevik. <laughs> and now, and now we're being taken to the med bay. Just one, one, one question: Is is the um, what's the doctor like? What? <laughs> I mean, I just, I just want to, you know, know what I'm, you know, getting into. Dr. Kevorkian is one of the best doctors we've had, one of the best medical professionals. Right, yeah, let's, let's go. I, I wouldn't mind a, um, wouldn't mind a visit to Dr. Kevorkian. Satisfaction Kevorkin. guaranteed, or your second one is for free. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, uh, you guys are being escorted to the medical bay. As you're doing, I mean, the the uh, executive officer looks concerned. He's not, like, mad or anything. He's just, he doesn't know what's going on. And so, uh, are you doing anything? Are you going to cause any troubles while going to the medical bay, or are you actually going to? Uh, you know, maybe we are hallucinating. It's a possibility. He's not I talking. mean, maybe there was some kind of terrible radiation source on the planet that made us see things. I mean, there were, there was could, like could a whole radiation. other, there was a whole other person in our party, and they're not around. What happened to them? <laughs> they just vanished. Yeah. Maybe we hallucinated the whole thing. Maybe, Maybe they, he was never here. Yeah, that's exactly. What I'm he was, he never... was the entity the whole time. <laughs> You're walking. It's like, let me talk to Siren. It's like that we've never had anyone named Siren on the ship. Um, exactly. Shavik made him up. <laughs> And doomed us all. 
See, Shavik, you play too many games and you get too many <laughs> prizes. All so right, the so, doctor. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if you guys would <laughs> like resist and try to attack no, the security no. officer. It's like not today. Um So you uh you make your way in, Dr. Kavorkian uh nods his head. He's uh trill and he says, uh come will you please have a, a seat for me? Okay. Uh, can you can you describe him? Is you know is he is he muscular? Is he good looking? Does he have a does he have a does he have facial hair? If there was a cation in heat, that probably would attack instantly based on how. That is highly <laughs> offensive. <laughs> so, he's a tall, yeah, lanky individual uh, with the spots running down his side. He doesn't have any kind of facial hair or anything like that. He wears a blue um, jacket and. Uh, just regular um, clothes underneath, not necessarily a full-on uh, um, uniform. And uh, he takes out a uh, he takes out track order, and he looks up at you two, and he's like, "So I heard uh, you were concerned about the timeline. You thought there were some changes happening." And he starts waving. Well, it's it's like okay, so hypothetically, <laughs> if if I had a cousin who was from another universe timeline that uh, this one maybe was created from. So I guess technically they might be responsible for the deaths of countless billions. Ooh, I didn't think of that. I turned to Shavik. I didn't think of that. We could be mass murderers. If you think about it, because even if they didn't exist, right, did we kill them? Did we kill oh. them by making people not exist? I mean, we, they, they only not exist. Like, they only not exist, like, relative to us, right? Okay, so, Doctor just... needs to bring in a whiteboard so we can get some... <laughs> Need to start writing this down and figuring this timeline stuff Because it, uh, yeah. it's, it's all perception, right? So, like, you know, it's like that whole thing. Oh. The, 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 the world doesn't really exist unless you're looking at it. What did your so, friend do? He interrupts all of this. What did your okay. friend do to change the timeline? Okay, so hypothetically, uh, if our friend nothing. talked to a space god and made the space god angry, so the space god changed the timeline and then put my friend in the new timeline... And the space god was all cryptic and maybe is about to do something. Okay. What's the space god about to do and what <coughs> has changed in the timeline? Well, I'm just, no, like, that's that's enough for the hypothetical. I don't need to, to sit here and, and come out with a with a whole list of different <laughs> events and, and backstories to all the characters. I mean, you know, I can't do that on the spot here. I, you got to give me, like a, like a, like, a pad... And a pen and a couple of months and a good talented artist to draw up some some you know some some sketches of the characters and then you can build it in the holodeck and write it all down and like put sound effects and music and then you could sell it. Yeah, he paused me you done. Shavik, you see why <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, he looks. He's, <laughs> he looks like he says, "I don't see anything wrong with you physically. Uh, all things apparent. It does look like you have chroniton particles around you, though. They're not mine. Well, maybe you should. We're holding them for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should be aware. They said they'd play this straight. No, that's by worse. The way, that's that's, 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 uh, <laughs> that's worse. If you say that you're holding chronotone particles for a friend, that's a longer, <laughs> that's does. a longer, it's like, just it's, temporal it's distortion. Like, who specifically are you holding the chronotone particles for exactly? Shavik. Ex exactly, Shavik. Who are you for, holding for? And I'm for? holding. I'm holding the trams. We're we're holding each other's. That's well, I'm holding Shavix's. <laughs> where did you get... Where do you think you would have been exposed to chroniton particles? A space god. S where? Value warehouse. 
on the promenade. It's the name of a store. I'm sure they were doing all kinds of terrible things with chronotons. But we're feeling better now. Yes, Shevik? Yes? Yeah, much better. Much better. Oh, yes, much better. Much better. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, give me a second. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, This is not how any of this was supposed to go. <laughs> right. Oh, then take us back to no, the... Just had no, to I open can't. your mouth. No. <laughs> no, nope, you did it now. You did it now. It doesn't matter. All right. See, Shavik, that's you. Why would you <laughs> Shavik, do it? Why would you do? <laughs> why would you do this, Shavik? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to see the hot doctor. Doctor Kavorkian, the the itch, the good boy. All right. He uh. Yeah. He, uh, He's a He's a trill. He, he's experienced. He pauses the moment. He says, I'm going to need you to stay here for a few minutes, okay? Well, the trill doesn't necessarily mean that he's got a trill in him. I mean, the symbiote in him just means that he's trill. Yeah, that's true. How I mean, many? They don't have that many symbiotes. Obviously, we're waiting during this conversation. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Well, he said he'll be right back. He was waiting for you to respond, and you guys are talking like, well, if he has the Yes, symbiote. we'll be. Okay, we'll stay right <laughs> okay. here. Yes. We'll, we'll stay right here. He pauses a moment. He's like, he, I'm not joined, just so you're aware. Exactly. See, that's a negative stereotype, Shavik. You're <laughs> full of <laughs> you, 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 you a negative stereotype. You, you say disparaging things about species with cyclical I, mating I, I, cycles. I, you, now you just assume every trail is joined. He turns around and walks Like they just away. have buckets of symbiotes just waiting to go. <laughs> just barrel <laughs> slimy pickle things just waiting to I mean that that's that's the, that's a better right, interpretation guys, than saying that they're evil mind control slugs. As you guys are waiting, uh, the executive officer walks in and he looks at both of you, and he says, "I don't know what's going on, and I'm pretty sure I want to know, but apparently there's more to both of you than meets the eye." He uh, takes Robots a pad. In disguise. He takes a. <laughs> okay. He takes a pad. Well, what? Uh, do we have a spy on board? Is there someone in the spy? <laughs> so, okay, I said that in my regular voice. <laughs> All right. I mean, you want to keep digging holes? I'll, I'll put you two in a brig, and we'll figure out how to get you out of there. If we need to. I don't know how to get you out of there, but we'll figure out. You'll you'll be outlaws by the time this is over. <laughs> it's better than clone army. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah he, he looks at both of you, and he says. Uh, how are you involved in Starfleet Intelligence? Wait, what? Oh, yes. We're, at no, we're, we're not at liberty to discuss that. Okay, well, I mean, they recruited us. Remember, Shevik? <laughs> he shakes, <laughs> shakes his head and he says, part of being on this crew is trust. And after this operation, we're going to have a very big trust exercise. He takes out a pad and he hands it to... Um, to you, Weasel. And he says, apparently, uh, one of the intelligence <coughs> officers, Lieutenant Hendon, has overridden any orders, and you are to specifically go to the station as planned. Lieutenant Hendon? Who's Lieutenant Hendon? <laughs> is that what you say? Who is Lieutenant? <laughs> well, um, uh, no, I'll go to the station. I just want to make a mental note that I need to see this Lieutenant Hinden. Mm -hmm. This that seems a little sketch. So when you look at the uh, orders, it says Lieutenant <coughs> Mike Hinden, Starfleet Intelligence. Mike Hinden. Mike Hinden. Mike Hinden. M I K E H E N D O N. Mikey Hinden. Mikey Hinden. That's his name. Yep. Good old Mikey. So anyway, he hands it to you, and he looks between you. He's like dismissed. Okay. Okay, well, Let's go we're, then. we're going. <laughs> yes. So we go. Do we go back to the briefing? Do we go to the transporter? <laughs> we, we, have we have in all the time in all the time we've been, you know, going to and fro sick bay? Have we actually arrived at the station now? So it hasn't. Uh, you guys haven't arrived yet. Uh, the ship is on the way. Uh, you're going to the Waco station. 
Uh, is there any kind of anything you wanted to do before you arrived or anything? Or uh, Familiarize myself with the layout of the Waco Station. Um... Okay. So the Waco Station, uh, well, what I want you to do, actually, is give me a roll mm -hmm. of... <clears throat> Uh, let me pull it up. It's going to be an insight plus science, is what I'm going to say. Okay. Let me. I'm going to mm -hmm. have to look up our stuff, too. Yeah, I. Wait, you weren't ready for this instantly? What? Where the hell is my character sheet? Well, I remember it was like 14, so. It was always I, 14 here. Now I, I have yours up. Give me a second. I'll pull it up for you if you'd like me to. Oh, okay. uh, inside is 10. Your science is 4. Okay, so 14, and I will roll two d20s. 13. Eight. Okay. All right, so... Located on the Drenankos Prime, the base is... Uh, on both sides of the tidally locked planet. The majority of the structure is on the night side, including housing, recreation, and operation areas, as well as the shuttle bay. The day side contains the research labs. Two surface tubes just under five kilometers long connect the two halves by tram system. We discussed that. Uh, the base commander is VTOC, a um, Vulcan, and the total complement is 64, including uh, 55 researchers and nine support staff. It accommodates up to 75 people. It has type two solar shields, two shuttles with no warp capabilities. Uh, the <clears throat> its stated primary mission is research into the deuterium potential in low mass brown dwarf, uh, such as Drankos, uh, as well as uh, looking to see how um, the interactions between the gravity of the planets pull each other together. Uh, they have limited photosphere agitation agitation and gas sampling, inversion testing for coronal mass capture and refinement, and then phase three is apparently classified even past what you have the ability to see. Um, the unclassified pieces of it include research into specifically nanoprobes and injection into the body to enhance abilities. I foresee mind control. Mm. Well, I'm going to familiarize myself with the local uh, stellar cartography map, looking at the various starships that are passing near to the station, both on our side of the border and the Cardassian side. Okay, is particularly, it... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Particularly looking out for any potential uh, Klingon or maybe Marquis activity. Uh, so, <clears throat> there has been Federation and Cardassian ships, uh, no incidents that you can see. Uh, a couple of Bajoran vessels also have been near, uh, which has, re um, heightened some tensions, but nothing out of the ordinary. And was it just the ships you were looking at? Um, and potentially what are the, what are the surrounding planets? Are there any other important things on the local other nearby systems is there something very important like the other side of the Cardassian border uh nothing major the Dren Ancos is a class T brown dwarf uh the magenta substellar object has only a single planet in orbit and uh files on record note that it's a very stable uh star with an average surface temperature of 940 kelvin Okay. Oh my god, I just realized I'm watching the stream as well, and all of my stats are right next to my face. Oh god, that's true, isn't it? We could have been right. I, yeah, I did that <laughs> intentionally. I, I took the time to do that, and now I've forgotten. <laughs> okay. So, are you doing anything else, or is that pretty good? Um, well, I can't think of anything else to be going on with. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? I'll run some holodeck training programs for taking on the Borg. I'm going to look up this um, this Lieutenant 
Hendrix guy. The Hend- Hendrix. Hend- 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 Hendrix. Yeah, Hendrix. Guy. That's his name. So his name is Mike Hendon. <clears throat> the Mike Hendon guy. Yeah. So he's the one. He did the super chat. That'll help you out with that. Ah. Um. <clears throat> Hello. So, from what you can tell, well, what you need is to give me an insight plus. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I'm going to be honest with you. Give me an insight plus. Let me pull up your thing, actually. Security. Oh, I didn't light that down on the side of the thing. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. How do you not All have right. security up there? You said the um, you said the six stats. Yeah, control, fitness, presence, daring. Oh, that's right. You're right. Never mind. You All don't right, need those. True. I rolled a five and a nine. Okay. Uh, so, interestingly, Mike um, Hinden has had a pretty uh, stellar record. Um, he... Uh, has served with Starfleet Intelligence most all of his career. He was first a communications officer. Obviously, a lot of it is, um, a lot of it is uh, not encrypted. Is uh, I want to say it starts with a C. You can't get to classified. It. There we go. Classified. A lot of it's classified. Uh, though the one thing you do note, out of curiosity, is while he has a great um, Starfleet career, like he doesn't really seem to do much. There's not a a lot of extracurriculars. Does he like to wear black? He's huge into black. Yeah, he loves it. No underwear, though. Hmm. Something tells me that we are dealing with a Cinnabite. Someone has opened the puzzle box and let one out. It's true. All right, well, he's that's interesting. So, uh, so, all right, so we've got a probable Section 31 guy here. Mm. So as, you, uh, as you're doing your research, you hear um, uh, Latrem and uh, Shrevek to, uh, to the bridge. All right, well, we are, we are on our way to the bridge. Yep. Once you get up there, you see that the ship has arrived. Uh, on the view screen is something really interesting, though. What is a, supposed to be a stable star is very much not. Uh, it would appear that, and you, you hear people talking and uh, giving feedback and information, uh, the brown dwarf's temperature has risen to 1,100 Kelvin, and it's unleashing strong bursts of X-ray radiation throughout the system, throughout the system itself. Well, that's not good. Mm. The executive officer turns around and he looks at you and says, Welcome. Uh, as you can see, it appears that there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. And in fact, when you look at, um, interestingly enough, when you look at it, it looks like there's um, powerful emissions coming out and, so, and the actual star appears to be draining towards the planet itself. Oh, okay, so we found Starkiller Base. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> Starkiller Base. And uh, he um, he looks to you, says to, he... He asks, would you know anything about this, or? Not, may, no. No. No, we, okay, we're, look, no, we don't know anything about exploding stars. This is new to us. This should be a totally stable brown dwarf. He nods his head, he says, I agree. But apparently there's been shifts in the timeline. Starfleet Intelligence has taken a really interesting look and knows two officers randomly on our ship, and, uh... We have an unstable star that's looking like it could destroy the system if we don't handle this. Uh, well, yikes. I'm not even <laughs> sure what you do to handle a star that's about to go super. Um, uh, leg I, it. Yeah, I would Let's imagine go. leg it. Uh, Just jump to war. Oh, wait, you know what? Okay, I am going to do a science. <laughs> a science. Give me. I, I want to real quick calculate the yield of the explosion if... I want to calculate the odds of the brown dwarf actually going supernova, and I want to calculate the yield of the explosion if it does, and I also want to calculate the yield of the off-gassing it'll go through if it initiates mass fusion and becomes like a micro star. I'm going to answer that, though maybe not all the way that you want to. I'm going to answer it in the best way that I can, though, so you can give me a reason plus science. All right. 
11. 11. What's your reason in science? Oh, my science is... Science. My science is... I know my science is like 10. I, yeah, it should be 10. And my I don't reason, think your science can get that high. Your science is a 4. And your my reason, science is 4, and, and my reason, reason is, is 10. 10. There you go. Uh... So you you walk over to the uh, science control system. You begin inputting information. Uh, it says uh, you can see that the star is steadily gaining temperature, increasing in its convection currents, and its surface is starting to destabilize. Uh, you can also see that this process will increase over the next 12 hours, at which point it'll start throwing stellar mass into the system, which would be very dangerous to any ship and planet in the vicinity. And then 12 hours after that, uh, nothing in the system will probably survive. What the hell? Did something create a black hole inside the star? Okay, well, I'm going to tell okay. the captain. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. I'm going to perform a scan on the... Because you said that the star is, like, draining into the planet. So I'm going to perform a scan on the planet, particularly looking at that facility on the planet's surface. Okay. Uh, give me a control plus engineering. Uh, so what we're going to have happen that's for that, though. Nine and two. So that's 11. Yep, and then I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a D20. Okay, do it. Yeah. Well, so three and 13. All right, so you can see that it is, um, it is, uh, channeling that energy though it looks like it's doing it in a way that it wasn't designed for uh you can't really tell why or what they're why, why it's doing it or what it's doing with it but it has uh taken the um research station has taken extensive internal damage with one of the tram lines between the two parts of the base uh just completely destroyed there's a fire contained in the tram line itself emergency bulkheads seem to be holding but they won't for more over 24 hours. After 24 hours, they're gone. And uh, it looks like that... What's interesting to that, though, is while you're seeing all this damage done, it looks like uh, some of the damage actually was done from inside. So, like, the tram and the fire itself didn't come from the star. Okay, right. so... We... Are there any life signs? There are, yeah. You can't how tell how... Many... It's hard to tell with the interstellar thing. They also have their shields on maximum, so the um, research station <coughs> doesn't, uh, you know, just evaporate. So you'll, you'll have to go down b via shuttle. We should probably take some security with us. Yeah. I you are the gun. security. Can we, we should get, probably... Like, can we get, can we, like... Can we <laughs> some red shirt... Well, yellow shots? Can, okay, we get some, uh, can we get some compression rifles do or we, something? Do we, have any, do we have any interns, unpaid interns? Phaser rifles, some some isolinear explosives. A purple a purple bazooka. He purple looks space you. bazooka. He looks at you and he says, "You know what? I'll send I'll send extra back up with you." Yay! So he uh, hits his badge and he says, "Starfleet boy's character who just showed up in the chat, get on the <clears throat> fucking zoom that you were." Uh, and and uh, introduced to it's it's via the Discord, so get the fuck on here. Uh, hey. No. hey, you see that? You see that? <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> you see that, Shavik? Why did you make Starfleet boy late? Come, come on, Shavik. Shavik, why? Why, why oh. would I be making them late? I don't know. I don't know why I would do that. He, uh, he says, you're authorized to uh, take some support with you. I'll have a specialized officer as well as uh, weapons. Good. Okay, because all this looks like it's internal, so... Mm. I mean, shit, who knows what's going on down there. He, uh, he then pauses a second. He says, hold up. The, the Bajoran officer, he shakes his head, he says, we haven't served long, but you two have until he looks six hours ago given me no reason not to trust you he's, he uh he says you'll you can have a full uh security outfit with you you can be uh fully suited with the best we have when it comes to security so 
uh, take a phaser rifle, the extra body, uh, as well as uh, some stun grenades. Well, we don't get any any backup. Dismissed. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay. That's thanks to Lisa Garrison, by the way. She helped you guys out. All right. So we'll give it a second because we have a um, we have another person coming on. This is actually a good way to introduce him. This worked out mm. really really well. Yeah. And and now Starfleet. Almost like it was planned. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that you guys uh, had. Uh, we're going to be like, hey, we're going to act super, super weird. <laughs> like, we're, like we've, uh, See, Shavik? Why, you why, do, like why didn't you right? think we'd do that? Uh. See, Shavik? <laughs> why do you expect that? Weird. Come on, Shavik. See? <laughs> why? Why have you failed, Shavik? The, the internal structure of the station is damaged. Shavik, why'd you do that? <laughs> Shavik! Shavik, why? Why would you do that, Shavik? Why have you betrayed us? <laughs> it's like what I say to my 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 damn. It's like what I say to my cat. <laughs> it's like why'd you do that, Tyler? Why? And just look at me. Like, why, Shavik? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? What are you chewing on? What'd you get? What you got there? <laughs> what you got there? What you I mean, you're you you want to talk. You're the cat person. Chewing on all sorts. I have a designated chewing object <laughs> that I chew on, and I have my own personal scratching post, and th those are the objects that I destroy. And you, Shavik, <laughs> decide to go and destroy whole planets and suns and timelines and, and timelines. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll just, I'll, I'll uh, just, I'll just point out that there's no way that you keep your scratching to scratching post. As I, I, I know cations, and I know that you just like scratch any furniture, especially the furniture that isn't yours. And and and, and Latrem is sitting by the sitting by the trans wait standing by the transporting waiting for, for the other guy to show up, and he's just like idly like drawing his claws across. Across the side of the the tra the teleporter thing, going like I don't no I don't no. Uh, Technically, this belongs to everyone. <laughs> we all it is the it is the states. Uh, it is the people's transporter. See, you guys are going by um, shuttle because they have transporters on. Oh, hmm. idly just scratching the. Seat seat. Next, just like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, you could still be doing the transporter. It's just like it's the transporter. Uh, you guys got confused, so you're at the transporter, or it's the uh, <laughs> it's the shuttle transporter. <laughs> uh, we can't hear you, uh, Starfleet boy. If you're still there, you might have. Hello, to... this is uh, Commander Ash Finkter. Got it. There you are. So reporting for duty. My. My vow of celibacy is on record. Okay. So good to know. As you guys relevant. As you guys, uh, <laughs> so Ash, you have been uh, assigned to assist them. Uh, you are also a part of the elite squad, though you are working with a different unit. Uh, you have been contacted by uh, the executive officer, who is a Bajoran, to go with them. Uh, to identify what's going on with this station before it explodes. Uh, you have been told that they've been acting a little weird. They've been asking questions about timeline changes uh, and holding each other's chronotons, as well as some kind of link to uh, the um, Starfleet intelligence that's not making a lot of sense. So you've been ordered to mm. watch, keep an eye on them, and make sure that right. they aren't going too crazy. So you two make your way down. Uh, to the shuttle bay. Uh, the re you're going to research station Waco, by the way. That's what they tell you. Uh, and when you're there, you see that you are on a... Um, one, one second. One second. We are on the road to nowhere. <laughs> Don't know when you'll be up again. You, uh, you are at... Um, in front of it, you see Ash, who is in front of the shuttle Stalingrad, uh, ready to take off. 
Okay. Unfortunately, the um, the uh, shuttle Hindenburg was destroyed in a lightning strike. So. <coughs> yeah. Was and it the lightning it, strike or was it the Klingon that destroyed it? Yes. It was also the demon on top of it too. Uh, the demon, yeah. And the village that uh, you know. <coughs> hey, it's just bad weather. Hey. Yeah. It's just going to be a drizzle. It's a, it was a, it was just a light drizzle. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, you go down and you see uh, Starfleet Boy's character. Hello. Hello. Uh, Greetings. He must be Pink Sphincter. Sphincter. <laughs> it's it's actually a lot of people make that mistake. It's actually Finkter. Finkter. You must be Finkter. It's a little different. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good to meet you, Lieutenant Finkter. Uh, that would be Commander, but yes, thank you. Good to meet you this as well. Is, this is uh, Shavik, and I am Latrem, and uh, we have phaser rifles, which is good. All right, excellent. And uh, I assume you have one as well. <laughs> yes, I have two actually. I'm double. Got both my phaser rifles right okay, here. Okay, good, because I got a bad feeling about going to this this <laughs> planet. It's probably full of necromorphs and Borg. <laughs> God. Well, let's do uh, this. This is, good. this is a good first meeting right here. This is what <laughs> heroes are made of. Who's uh? Who's who's <laughs> should driving? Should we do like a should we do like a superhero pose moment? <laughs> yes. We should. Freeze frame for the poster. With Ash. With Ash. Like in the middle with both phasers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, are, are you on Star Trek Online where you see your characters right there, all of them posing when you choose them or whatever, or how they used to do. Yeah. Who's uh who's driving? Oh, I assume it's Shavik. Okay. After last time, <laughs> sure. Let's go. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe I'll have improved. Second time's the charm. <laughs> Second time's the charm. I Let trust just, you um, will destroy a shuttle out of your terrible <laughs> anger twice. I remember okay. last time you were like, ah, I hate this shuttle, and so you ran it over that Klingon. <laughs> let me just let me just get my 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 driving uh, Andorian ale. <laughs> then we'll be on our way. Driving work. whiskey. Okay, oh, that's uh... give me my my driving meth. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> My driving catcher so wide. <laughs> That's gonna be a um, a control plus uh, con. So that is gonna be twelve, and then two d twenty. Yeah. Yeah, two d twenty. Okay, so eleven and one. Oh wow! It's really good. Wow, see, second time really was the challenge. Yeah, because because uh, uh, three was going to be three was the requirement, and you were going to crash if you didn't get it. So uh, that was that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. There you go. See, things are looking up. Yeah. So uh, you begin making your way down. See, Ash made all the difference. Uh, for the most part, it, it's bumpy. You can feel the distortions as they hit the ship or the shuttle. Uh, as you make your way down, you're landing on the, um, dark, the dark side, not where the research is, but where the actual shuttle bays are. Uh, even though it's successful and things go mostly <coughs> to, um, to plan, uh, right as you're about to land, a huge distortion uh, comes from the actual sun itself, or actually it already came, but it wasn't detected until it was too late, slams into the ship itself. Uh, you're able to hold on and land safely, but uh, the shuttle itself has taken some damage. Sparks are coming out. Uh, the systems um, seem to be going completely out of whack. Uh, when you come into the shuttle bay, uh, um, the shuttle bay entrance, the one thing you'll notice is that it is completely dark. There are no lights or anything. It's only from what you have on the shuttle uh, itself. Uh, looking, though, from everything you can see from the light, it seems like there has been an actual battle here. On the, uh, on the walls, there's phaser damage. Uh, things are strewn everywhere. You see a few bodies. You can't tell if they're alive or not. Um, most of we them are wearing. We should probably check them. 
And, uh, yeah. The only other thing to know is as the shuttle powers down, uh, because of all the damage that it took, uh, silence. You don't hear the hum of anything. I'm gonna uh, let's quick. do a full sensor sweep with our tricorders and figure out what's going on here. Yes, let's make sure life support is at least operational. Yeah. All right, so I'll need a control engineering. Or hold on, let me look at that. Do you have your um, stuff up, Starfleet boy? Yeah, I've got uh, computer expertise and dedicated focus. Okay. <laughs> so we'll take a. Um, actually, I want an insight plus engineering. Can okay. you roll it, or do you need me to roll it for you, Starfleet boy? Oh, uh, would you mind rolling? Thank you. I didn't come prepared with dice. Oh, that's fine. Uh, actually, I'm going to have Weasel roll it, and then Weasel can roll whatever he wants to do, too. Sweet. Okay, so I am rolling for you. You got a 17. And a 19. Oy. So, you the sensors, the scan you're getting specifically seem kind of odd. You can't really tell what's going on. Uh, there are fluctuations all over, so there is still power. Um... But it looks like main power itself isn't there. It just surges happening here and there. You can't make much sense of it. Uh, what were you, were you doing anything, Weasel? Yes, I'm going to also do a sensor sweep. Okay. I got a 15 and a 6. What's your insight and engineering? My insight is 10. And then your engineering is what, 2? No, it's uh, It's... Not too. I don't think it's very high. <laughs> uh, I'm still looking for my. Thing. Hold on, I got it. It's a one, so it's an eleven. Oh God. So okay. what were the two that you got? Um. Uh, thirteen and thirteen and seven. Okay. You got basically the same uh, thing he his is. It's a little weird. It's You can tell there's power, but there's nothing come. The only reason I gave more for Starfleet Boy is because of your um, focuses and your values that you had. Uh, so it still, it just looks kind of wonky. You're not really getting much there. Can I s scan for life signs specifically? Sure. Uh, same. Give me an insight plus... Uh, no. Give me an insight plus... Security is what I'm going to go for with you. Okay, so that's 14, and then 4, and 19. Okay, uh, well, at least it's not 20. 20 is bad. 20, 20 is when bad stuff happens. So, um, you can tell there's life signs. Uh, they're sporadic, and they're throughout the station as well. There's also um, something, you can't really tell exactly what, but it almost seems inorganic. Uh, additionally, the organic life signs that you get, there's more than what, so it was supposed to be 55 people. You're getting at least 120 life signs. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. They're, um, they're splitting where, where, where are they, <laughs> um, where are these, are these life signs <laughs> concentrated anywhere? You can't tell. It's hard. Okay, but there's... We, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't just um, up and leave, can we? Because I mean, the shuttles, no, shuttles damaged. it's damaged. It would, it would take a, it would take a miracle for the damaged shuttle to be fixed by mm. someone. Uh, do we have any tactical drones aboard the shuttle? Oh, good no. thinking. Ooh. Damn. Well, um, okay. Are, are there any life signs in the room? Like, is anyone alive on the floor? ground any of these bodies alive it's hard to tell you can tell their life signs are there but you can't tell where specifically okay. i'm going to go in. i'm going to go examine one would you guys like to try to fix the shuttle real quick or work on that they can they can fix the shuttle and oh, no yeah hang on, hang on hang on no i've read this one okay i've seen this movie <laughs> yeah i've seen this <laughs> i know what happens here okay Finkta, you stay and fix the shuttle i'm gonna watch um the trem's back because I, I I I don't like this. And personally, if he's going to examine this body, I'd prefer if you did it with a ten foot pole. I suggest you take one of the tactical uh, drones with you. One of the tactical <laughs> poles with us. <laughs> well, yeah, the poking <laughs> device. 
<laughs> Actually, you know what? That is that's legit. I legit am going to look for a rod or something as a as a poking stick, just just in case, just just to keep a distance from these things that may or may not be normal people who are terribly injured. <laughs> I want to look for one. Um, I mean, you can find a like a a rod or something. Uh, okay, so when you I'm, go, I'm gonna get so a rod. You just are there's you gonna, some rocks here on the ground of the shuttle. If you yeah, like to the take shuttle those shuttle well. some explosions, so you can throw the rock. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you, you can throw these rocks. It's like, hey, <laughs> wake up! <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, you. You go to poke one, they don't immediately move. Okay, I'm going to get closer and examine it. Give me a control plus medicine. Okay, my... Let's see. Uh, That was a six and an eleven. And my control is nine. And my medicine is... Oh, it's... It, it's doing that thing where it's like... It's Latrim, so it's one, I believe. You're Latrim, right? Yes, but the the character sheet's doing that thing where it's cutting the numbers in half again. Okay. Yeah, it's just a one. Okay. Well, then it's a one. So, so it's a... eleven. One success. Yeah. Uh, you notice that the person uh, was killed by a phaser. Um specifically to the chest set to kill though something odd is on the back of the neck you also notice two puncture wounds oh shit okay um i back away real quick like okay that's definitely borg yeah that's a borg like are there there, can we shine a light on it and see if there are like you know discolored veins and you know nano probes and stuff they got all the bismuth growing out of them you want to give me a control plus medicine yep so that will be uh, nine and four, so thirteen. Uh, which nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So you got a nine and a four. Uh, yep. Okay, so they both succeed. Uh, no, you don't see any signs of assimilation. Maybe he was empty. Mm. What do uh, you mean empty? Uh, Ash, give me a uh. Da, da, da. Control plus engineering. Uh, eight control and uh, two engineering. So it's ten. Uh, can you roll for me, Weasel? Yes. Two d20, please. Ten and the one. Okay. So one is a critical success, um, just so you know, Ash. So it means that uh, something really good happens. You are actually able to... Uh, get the vessel semi running. So it's you got it turned on. It is going to take a little while for the impulse engines to come back to life. Uh, but on the bright side, you are able to also interface with the station computer. Uh, main, uh, the main computer's down, Boy. as well as main power is down. But if you so choose, you can actually activate uh, the secondary power system. Do I it. so choose. Okay. All of a sudden, you just hear aliens. Ah! Because that happens in an alien <laughs> game. Now, so you activate the... Uh, While well, you two are outside, not aware of what he's doing, what she's doing, so it's going to be funny. You're um, getting everything to red. All of a sudden, red lights pour in, and the entire um, shuttle bay is bathed in red. Shavik, uh, why? <laughs> why did you do this? <laughs> uh, is this the start of a disco? The, Why uh, did you panels, summon the disco lights? The panels, <laughs> the panels start to activate as well, though they're a little bit weaker. Uh, one thing you do notice is that there's not one dead body. There's actually about four dead bodies within this area, and the damage is much, much uh, more than uh, you originally saw. Uh, there's also huge, um, like, like uh, just parts of the walls just have been shredded, like someone took uh, long fingernails and just shredded down the sides of them. Uh, are there tunnels also? No. Like this, does, how does, <laughs> does the, does the shredding look like it came from the outside or the inside? It was from the inside. It was all happened on the inside. Okay. 
Okay. Does it look? Does it look like um, organic? Does it look like something like clawed away, or is it more like artificial? Like you know, someone took a cutting tool and was all precise about no, it. No, it looks chaotic. It looks like uh, talons. It, is it a? Is it three, four, or five finger shredding on the, on the wall? You can't tell if it was done by one specific. Um, Oh, okay. Being or not, but there's it's shredded on both sides uh, three times, but you can't really tell if it was like, like a specific one being or claw multiple. or yeah. something. Yeah. Mm. Okay, got this it. This was no ordinary kegger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... indeed not. <laughs> Can I set my um, my tricorder to be permanently on as a um, you know as a as a motion tracker, so it's always going sort of you know beep beep. Beep, you can give beep. me control engineering and try. Uh, I, just, I, just... I can I can probably uh, write a subroutine for you. I'm a computer expert, so I can do that really quickly if you like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you are you coming? That? You're coming out of the shuttle to talk to him then? I'm assuming. Oh, I can do it from the shuttle. I can hear sure. everything they're saying okay. through their combat. <laughs> edges, so. so you're, <laughs> you're just staying inside. You're like, no, I ain't coming out. No, I'm co no, I'm coming out. I'm coming out behind them. Yeah, I'll be All there. Right. All right, so uh, <laughs> then you'll need to give me a control plus engineering. A uh, control plus what? Engineering. Okay, so eight and two. So ten plus you have the you are a your, what's one of your focuses as you said? Computer expertise and one of my focuses yep. is tactical. Let's see, technology. So uh, roll it for me, uh, Venom, since he's doing it for you. Okay, doke. 18 and 1. Wow, you're really good at the. I'm going to stop letting you roll because that's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird that it's won so many times. Hmm. No, it was uh, Latrem last time who rolled, so it's just me. It's just my Delton pheromones <laughs> uh, influencing. <laughs> it's, it's... <laughs> you haven't told the uh, dice that your vow of celibacy is still in effect. So they're all it's true. To... I have not they're trying to impress yes, the... you. <laughs> they're all trying to impress you. <laughs> so you have something really rudimentary uh, set up. And so it... Uh, it does do just a beep, beep, and uh, from what you can tell right now, there's nothing moving at the moment. Okay, good, good. Shavik, you can take point. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to be with my phaser rifle, and then do I, I'm going to go, are we going to go into this, this uh, hole in the wall? Is that where we're gonna go, or do we want to go well, to the Mike, can I can I make a suggestion door? that our that our uh, computer expert should try and access the main computer and see if there's any security cameras or recordings of any kind that might show what happened instead of us this just kind of idea. going in to go meet the Borg bear. So go uh, <laughs> go into so you walk up to a panel. And uh, you're going to give, or it's going to be another control plus engineering. We said it was 10, right? Yeah. All right. So let yeah. me, I'm going to, I so will roll some of it myself. What you do is you go to user, go to windows, go to X86. <laughs> oh, man, mother. <laughs> he rolled a one. Again. Whatever. You again. rolled a one. Wow. It's a, 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 a He's a lucky charm. Hell? Even I was doing it to make sure. I believe you. I'm not. I'm just saying. I did it too. Right. I, but it, just to make sure. Uh, no, it wasn't even just to make sure. I was just doing it so that I could be a part of the group. But uh, okay. It's so, really your Delton fair. <laughs> so it you, is what it's true. You find out that there are two levels uh, to this side. There is the storage, crew quarters, uh, mess hall, medical bay, and the uh, what is effectively the the uh, operations area. Uh, unfortunately, the logs and the ability to see the cameras and stuff with the main computer offline isn't available at any of the panels on the, on the first floor where you are. You'll actually have to get to operations to do it. But uh, all of the ones I just mentioned, storage, which you're in storage, crew quarters, mess hall, medical bay, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's accessible right where you are. And hey. hold on one quick second. Let me confirm something. Let's, let's see if we can get the Ishimura up and running again. There is a uh, the Waco up and running. 
There's uh, yes, the, the Waco. Yes, the there's Waco. a hollow. It's, it's uh, two hallways that you'd have to go through. No Jeffrey's tubes that maybe we can just circumvent those hallways. It's not a ship, so no. Mm. There, are, there are vents. Access corridors or anything like that. Um, if, well, actually, we could. Actually, I'm thinking. I if we go through. Don't worry. If they we go mostly through the come hallway, out at night. Mostly. Yeah, if we go through the hallway. Oh, we're on the night side of the planet. <laughs> if we go through the hallway, yeah, we'll be very, we'll be very like exposed to attack from either side. If we go through the vents, as long as someone's watching my back, I just need to worry about what's in front, and I can use my phaser rifle and stun grenades to clear the path ahead of me. So, you know. Good, good. You get... can stun all of the survivors. D d yes. Well, you know. And I can stun all the survivors sneaking up on us to try and get us to help them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. We don't want to help them. No. They're, they're, they're lost. <laughs> they're lost. They got to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and rescue themselves. They yeah. They, they, yeah. Shouldn't, they shouldn't have been in that situation if they didn't yeah. want to be in it. I mean, it's exactly. <laughs> It's Four career choices on their part. Four career yeah. choices. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, play been... stupid games, win stupid games. <laughs> they could have been anything they wanted to be. They chose, they, to, be uh, in they chose to be researchers. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so yes, I will cover. I will cover your back. I will cover your back. The um, the vents themselves actually seem to be too small. Well, like, I, I will crawl you, backwards. Oh, so there's you. In theory, I'm going to make you crawl. In theory, you could get there, but you could only move forward and you really couldn't do It's like, um, oh, did you watch Aliens, I think, at two? Yes. Or maybe Aliens. You know where he gets in that um, tube and it's yeah. one way. Yes. And it's one way and his arms are always to his sides. It's like that. Um, mm. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not because I couldn't actually defend myself in there or back You're, out of the situation. You see, you look at it, you're like, maybe Ash nah. should go. You know, I'm thinking this is nah. an Ash thing. Yeah. <laughs> I am lucky, right? <laughs> may, well, you know, you know, they don't know about your vow of celibacy. <laughs> exactly. That's true. That's true. Although I have a disarming nature, so. <laughs> but that's the point. You're you're a cat. Like, cats are Right, good at, I should um, be able to squeeze, squeeze through. through. Oh, yeah, totally. If Tyler can somehow get inside the vacuum, I should be able to get into this. Your cat got in a vacuum? He somehow <laughs> got inside the vacuum. That's amazing. Was he okay? Yeah, he was fine, but he was in the, you know, the pouch part of the I, vacuum. I assume. I assume he didn't go through, like, <laughs> the... Amazing. I assume the he didn't hose. go through the bottom, yeah. Make his no. way up. Yeah. What a strange animals. Weed. So, I will. I I'll be happy to go. I uh, through the uh, through the vent, <clears throat> if you guys like, with my two phaser rifles. One of them on my back, of course, and the you other one still. In. You wouldn't be Why? able to use any weapons, though. Have you ever watched? Oh. Uh, so the way I don't. Have you ever seen Aliens? Yeah, I have actually. Okay, so uh, I think it's either Aliens or Aliens Two. There's this. What he does is he goes into this tube, and his hands are like, right to his sides. So he literally can't bring them in front of him. He can only push himself forward. So you'd be completely defenseless with your face facing forward. What? Jesus. Sorry to, yeah. sorry to ask this, but what era are we? What era are we in again? It's like, are 2373. we? Uh, it's right 2373. 2373. Okay. The right name of the place, Babylon 5. <laughs> right before it's right before the Dominion War. Or, well, originally it was right before the Dominion War, before someone talked to God entity into creating the board. Yes, we don't need, we, we, we don't need to get into and, that. Uh, I'd like to rig my uh, com badge to create a just like a bounce field ahead of me and behind me to give me enough time in case anything happens. Is that is, that would <laughs> be a bounce field? We do. A bounce field, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a technical term. You do it for all the kids and stuff. What you do is you put it on the ground and you make a bounce field, and it's like a it's like a trampoline for them. <laughs> that. That probably is outside of the, what you have available to do. Oh, uh, okay. I feel like we need to just go through the main corridor. The main corridor, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. okay. 
So we'll go in a triangle formation with Shabak in front, <laughs> uh, s- Svinker to the <laughs> me to the right. Behind, yeah. So uh, are you, where are you guys? Are you just going to go to the turbo lift? Are you going to go to the crew quarters, the mess hall? I say we go, we try and get directly to the uh, to the control room. Yeah, so turbo lift. Yeah. But obviously we check the turbo lift to make yes, sure. Yes, so not... how about as we call the turbo lift, we get on either side of the door, and then one of us gets ready to th- throw a stun grenade in the moment the door opens. Uh, yeah. As you, yes. uh, as you make your way towards uh, the uh, turbo lift, uh, you, the actual crew quarters are coming up on the right, and you can barely hear what sounds like gasping and like. <laughs> oh, all, all my fur stands up, and I'm like, oh, I hear mm. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. It's, it's like. <laughs> Okay, uh, 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 I'm gonna run my tricorder real quick. All right. Um, I want to check that room, see if there's anybody alive in that room, and if that room has an atmosphere. They might so, be suffocating. So, um, one thing though, on yours, uh, Venom, your tricorder, which you can't use anymore because of the beeping thing, you hear you hear the boop, 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 boop. There's movement in there with the gasping and everything. Well, I mean, if there's someone in there, it's probably gonna have movement. Okay, I was just letting him know. All right, okay, so okay. Wanna... I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take aim at the door. Make sure right. like nothing comes charging out. And you're gonna see. You're gonna roll to see if there's anything in there. You said. Yes, I'm going to do that. All right. So that would be a uh, insight plus something. Uh, insight. I would security. say in, insight plus security, and I have a three in security. Okay. Mm. And a ten in insight. So. Sure. All right, I am going to roll. Five. You're gonna hate me. A one? Yeah, it's a one. I don't, um, I don't see my. You. I don't. I don't believe. <laughs> okay. <you>. Liar. <laughs> right. All right. You see my hands. Mm-hmm. All right. How do I know you didn't already have that one set down there, ready for this? Oh, good point. I, could do <laughs> I, I absolutely could do that. <laughs> I don't know. I assumed you heard the the dice rolling. Well, but... sure, but the way you would do it is you'd roll one off, not even look at it, and have one just sitting right there for me to do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, uh, going off of the going off of the idea that I I didn't do that. The fact that you've seen my hands. You see, there's a life sign in there. Um, actually, it pulls up as three life signs, and one is almost one human life sign. Two, you can't confirm what they are and the human life sign is fading fast oh that's scary all right um (laughs) (laughs) there's a person in there and two other life signs that i can't readily identify shavik and it's shavik and the delphin (laughs) get your get your phasers ready i'm going to stand (laughs) to the side of the door and open this door and, uh, you know, just be ready for whatever kind of nightmare <laughs> creature crawls out of there yeah. and tries to yeah. eat your eyes. All right. Ready. We're ready. We're, I'm going to open it oh. in three, <laughs> two, one. And then I open the door. As you open the door, uh, all of a sudden, a uh, small brown, uh, a small brown creature rushes out. Uh <laughs> Like that, and <laughs> like rushes towards you. Are you guys gonna do anything? Uh, stun it! Stun it! Stun it! Get it! Get it! Get it! We're gonna stun it! We're gonna stun it! Stun it! Stun it! Get it! All right. So, so stun. Ash, I need you to roll. Um, I need you to roll a fitness <laughs> plus security. No, uh, control plus security. I think is first. Um, hold on. All right. Let me look. Uh, are you gonna roll it? Hold on. We got a. We got an audience uh, you hear, you hear thing. Cage, you hear the cage and you go, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes up the wall. Give me a second. You hear the, you hear the cage and going. Oh, mercy. Hold on. Doing, doing the, doing the, the chirp. The hiss? No, the chirp. 
Um, the cat <laughs> chirp. Yeah. It's it's the noise they make when they're when they're frustrated or startled. Oh the oh yeah that's right like. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's like, like a little. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't guess that. Give me a yeah, control control plus security task. Here I'll All roll right. it for you. Tell me what it is. I'll roll it. His control is eight, and I don't know what your security is. You Who me? Yeah you. yeah your security. Here, I can oh one it. security one. Oh yeah. So a nine. All right. Come on. I do. Yeah. And you have? Do you have anything you're about to use? Uh, I well, one of my focuses is tactical, and the I also can in a <coughs> in a pinch I can do uh, an unarmed strike knockdown non lethal. Okay. Well, you said you're gonna try to shoot him, so that's what we're. Yeah, yeah. Stun. Okay. Stun him. Uh, so yeah. you you stun it, and it goes <laughs> boom, and then drops the. <laughs> <laughs> you killed a a baby. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right. So as you stun that, you you see uh, you see a um. You're guessing it's a human. It's uh, another one. He's, get it, get it. He's freaking <laughs> now. He's just you I'm point. Cow- uh, you uh, he's uh hanging uh by a um, what looks like a black cylinder type thing coming down wrapped around his neck and he's gasping oh, trying shit. to get it off. Shoot he, the uh, shoot the thing. He has uh he has um. <laughs> He has scars and and uh, looks like burns all over his oh, body. Oh, what the what the hell are what these the things f- doing to this guy? What kind of what kind of sick sexual thing did we run into? Into. All right, so he's sitting there gasping right now. Okay, do we want to get him down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, let him hang. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> look, look, clearly he's into it. You just should. walk around him slowly. I don't know. What the, I, I don't feel like... I so you, did you, you, know, you really just stop and you turn... I don't like, want to pass judgment. You turn right? and you stopped and you're like, so do we do we get him down or what do we... <laughs> Where's the other yes. thing? There were like three life signs in here. You uh, don't see anything else. Okay, no. well... And no more beeping on the tricorder. Uh, well, yeah, it's still beeping, but it's from oh, as same. far as you can tell, it's the guy. I wanna, yeah. I wanna take out my phaser and just keep it trained on the little brown creature that came running out like friggin' Mac and me. All right. <laughs> <It> Count. <can't. laughs> what? What'd you call me? No, I was talking about the creature, not you. Didn't come out like a cat. cat. Cats, cats don't. The cats do nothing like that. <laughs> Cats are noble creatures. It would come out with a full security report already for us. <laughs> that thing was like a like a squirrel or mouse creature, you know, something disorganized and feels. Anyway, like... so I'll get I'll get the guy down. Do I need to do any roll for that? Yeah. Uh, what do you have to cut him down with? Uh, well, I could I can use my phaser to just zap the thing that's holding thing. him up. All right, well, let's... You could do the one-handed thing that Kirk does in Star Trek 2 where he like uses one hand to get the ro- let the rope down. <laughs> like... All right, give me a um Oh, lord. All right, give me the same thing that you did him. Give me a con plus security to shoot it down. Con uh, plus what security. Is it? So, um that is 3 and Sorry, con and security. Correct. So that will be three and uh, four. <laughs> okay, eight. All right. Okay. Uh, so then. Yeah. Did you roll a 20? Because you're silent right now, which concerns oh, me. Sorry, do you, do you want me to roll that, yeah? Oh, I thought you rolled it. Oh. Um, oh, that was, no. that was weasel. Yeah, roll it. Yeah. Okay, look. That is a... Seven mm-hmm. and a one and an eighteen. <laughs> At least it's not a twenty. You just needed one success, so you you're able to cut it down. His his body falls limply to the ground. He uh, has terror <laughs> on his eyes, and he's just still gasping for breath and everything. Ask him everything. Uh, Shouldn't we what, take the thing we, off? His we... doesn't he have like a thing on his neck or whatever? Yeah, you didn't technically take that off. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, yeah we should take that take, take that off. off and start administering first aid because actually, yeah, that's one of my um, focuses. Daring, first aid. daring plus medicine. Okay, so that was daring plus medicine. So that is ten and four, so fourteen. K 
Okay. Nine. And seven. Okay. You, uh, you're able to help him with his wounds and stabilize him, but he, um, he's not going to be talking or anything like that. He's okay. had massive damage done. So moving him isn't a good idea either. Okay, so we can't take him back to the shuttle. I'm, I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, while they're doing that, I want to do a scan on the little brown creature. Okay. Give me an insight plus engineering. Nope. Give me an insight plus science. All right, my insight is 10 and my science is 4, so first one was a 13. This one fell on the floor, so I'll use this other d20 I have. Next one was a 9. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's just a little furry rodent creature, almost similar to like, See? A, like a Furby. See? Mm. Squirrel? Rat? Mouse? I'd like to scan the room further, like a deeper scan of the room, and even like physically look around and see if I can find anything. Okay. The third person, presumably. So oh, yeah. when you're looking around, the one thing you notice is that, unfortunately, he was the only one that was alive. There are at least uh, 11 more um, bodies that are there. Wow. That are actually uh, in the bed, in their beds. Do they... Do they all have this, like, thing around their neck or any similarities? No. Do you want to give me um, an insight plus medicine or a uh, control plus medicine? I'm sorry. Uh, sure. Eight and then medicine is three. Okay. Come on. Two and a 16. Uh, from what you can tell, it looks like they were killed in their sleep. Uh, there wasn't any kind of fight or anything. It looks like it was close range with a ra with a phaser. I'm confident that this small furry creature did not do this. So I I'm mean, are you, I mean, are you sure about that? I mean, it, it's probably someone's pet. <laughs> the backside. Uh, one other thing too, when doing the medicine, I would have thought for you it'd be dinner. I mean, you, there are two puncture <laughs> wounds on the backside of the still alive person, by the way. Oh. Shit. Um, that looked like snake bites. Um, well, we can't, we can't, we can't move him. So, like, Let's he's, could we him emergency we, transport him to the shuttle? That's, that's a point, because the, the shuttle still has some power, right? You could try, mm -hmm. yeah. And put him in a medical stasis field, emergency medical stasis field. Uh, not the, the it's not equipped for that, but you can get him to. Oh, okay. You, you can get him to the shuttle. What do you guys think? I think we should do that. He could have yeah. valuable okay. information on whatever this rat did to everyone. Equally, I don't want him getting up and walking off without us knowing about it. That's true. We should probably tie him to something when he's in the shuttle. <laughs> All right. So is that what you guys are doing? Uh, we're restraining yeah. him yet. Yeah, we'll do an emergency transport of him to the shuttle, and um, I'll take this rat thing too. Okay, <laughs> where are you gonna put the rat thing? I, I'm assuming the shuttle has a has a locker. Science station. That's yeah, a locker. Or a has a locker. <laughs> a <Cupboard>. locker. <laughs> or trunk. A, a storage Lock him in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your stay, dinner. <laughs> All right. I'll name you breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, are you guys making your way back to the thing then? The the uh, oh. well, you got him into the shuttle. We're not. I'm not yeah. going to worry about that. But now, are you trying to go back up into the operations? <clears throat> I imagine we are. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you get yeah. there, it opens up, there's nothing uh, nothing or no one inside. When you get into the turbo lift, you see there's actually three different levels. Uh, operations is actually at the very top. You're at the very bottom. Well, let's press the elevator. It's not going to work, but press the button. All right, so you're going to operations? Yep, operations. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, as you're going up, uh, you hear scratching and what here sounds like some squills um, at the secondary level, but it continues going, so that's not going to be a problem uh, for you, most likely. Okay. Uh, Before the doors open, let's get into a, you know, <laughs> fighting posture. Let's, let's, let's line up, get our reloads in. <laughs> Make sure you hit a quick save. Mm. A fix bayonets. <laughs> it opens up and... Um, red light red and white light just shown inside uh you don't there's no enemies that you can see yet uh operations is a large room with a view of the crater dominating one wall of the room the room itself is basically a nightmare there are two dead bodies a lot of damage from phaser fire and very little appears to be operational one of the operations officers is sprawled over a console in a pool of dried blood, and another is severely burned by phaser fire near the window. The window itself looks like it's not entirely stable, as it took numerous phaser hits, and uh, looking at the body on the console reveals the, call of the, cause of death, uh, the cause of death to be a slice through the abdomen caused by a large-bladed weapon. And it appears the cause of death was a slice through the abdomen. <laughs> Through a large bladed but... weapon or a or a large bladed tail. The burned officer it's uh... <laughs> impossible to identify. He took a phaser blast to the face. Oof. Wait a minute. I want to check and see what kind of phaser he was hit with. I also want to know what kind of blade may have done the damage. Uh yeah, so I'll scan for that. Phasers, blades, or was it a phaser mm. or a disruptor? Well if, it, if it, well, if it was a disruptor, his 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 face wouldn't be there. It would just be his head wouldn't be there. It would just be a you know, all over the floor. Klingon disruptors are notoriously messy, right? Well, maybe mm -hmm. maybe it was a glancing blow. Maybe the I'll disruptor check for, um, was low on battery power. <laughs> Behind I'll check for puncture wounds as well. Behind you hear several little feet. Why did you cage Furby's friend? No, you don't hear that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, insight plus medicine. Uh, so who are we doing first? Are we doing the bladed weapon or are we doing the um, phaser? Blade phaser. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. And so what are you trying to get? Tell me one more time. I'm trying to figure out. He wants to know what. what? What Sorry. kind of weapon did this? Was it Federation? Yeah. Was it Cardassian? Okay. Was it Insight plus security? All right, my insight is ten. My security is, I think that's a three. So I will roll. Seven. Fourteen. Uh so you had a ten, is what it was. Um. I had a 10 in insight. And oh, 13. A, okay. A, yeah. Okay. And I'm sorry. You're trying to figure out the phaser, you said? The or kind of weapon oh. it was. Uh, standard phaser, a uh, handheld phaser. So it was phaser. a Federation weapon. At full, yeah, at full strength. Okay. So, wow. All right. So they might have done this to each other. And then, so the blade, uh, uh, Ash, roll uh, insight plus medicine. Uh, insight is 10 and medicine is 3. Alright, here I'll roll. 15. 13. Uh, it was a. You can't tell exactly what, but you can tell it was a Vulcan weapon. A what? Weapon from a Vulcan. A Vulcan weapon. Mmm. Mmm. Huh. Pointy eared idiots. Shavik, why did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also, well, well, that's the point. I'm Andorian, so I've got my um, new Chantour, so I can maybe I can find this Vulcan and uh, reenact some uh, some time, some uh, some of the good old days. Is so. that is there a dead Vulcan among these bodies? No. Okay. Well, so, the one with the phaser to the the head, you can't tell because again, it's so burnt. The right, right, right. But uh, it doesn't appear to be Vulcan based on the medicine. We, we can cut count. it and see if it if green blood comes out of that one that doesn't have a. Well, it's in a pool of blood, which is red. So <laughs> red. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you. So, <laughs> right. So what we could actually be looking at here, and you know, I don't want to 
point fingers and name names or name fingers or point blame <laughs> but I feel like it's just like a bunch of Vulcans have just gone crazy. Like that's that's the explanation. Those green blooded goblins. You know, it might have been Pon Far Time or something, and they yeah. Can do it, the ritual, well, that would so. that would explain the guy, you know, hanging up. Makes sense. Exactly. Yep, yep. They wanted him as some <laughs> kind of terrible sex slave. Yeah. <laughs> it's all starting to. It's all it's making together. sense it's now. All in many ways. Together now. That's why in they had many this ways. small furry creature there. They wanted to use it in depraved acts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, makes sense to me. <laughs> all in the name of logic. It is logical to use terrible small rat rodent creature. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan Myers. At least it wasn't those. At least it wasn't those soulless Sulaban. <laughs> it we could have last... been those what? soulless Sulaban. That's what we were talking about last session. Sulabans don't have souls; they're like redheads. <laughs> they have they have green bumpy faces and terrible <laughs> brains. <laughs> They're soulless brains. All right, so you you uh, there's consoles. You also have the um, uh, the commanders. The consoles oh, right. are barely lighting up. You have the commanders, uh, not quarters, but his ready room. There. Right. We should probably try and get everything accessed so we can figure out what mm. happened here. Yes, I agree. Let's do it. We're here, yeah. We were supposed to come to Austin. There you go, that, exactly. But, and there's yeah. like a ticking right. clock on the sun that's, that's about to explode. <laughs> that's right. Yes, let's do it. All right. We all right I'll watch with we'll all, all the I'll death and furbies, <laughs> we forgot that we're about to die from a sun. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll watch your back, particularly keeping an eye on that ready room door. All right, so what are you guys doing? All right. We're hacking the computer to see if we can get glean more information or video footage to see what happened. Okay, so there are, those are separate things. So you can try to get main power operational, the main computer operational, and see the vlogs would be the, the vlogs. See the logs left would be the various things. That's, so what do you want to do yes. first? All right, I am going to, I am going to use my computer expertise, mm -hmm. and I'm going to assist someone else with computer expertise mm -hmm. in getting Myself. these. Yeah, I'm going to assist the Delphin. In trying to access the uh, secure logs and everything to figure out what happened on the computer. All right. Give and it's a... okay. We can work in close quarters. My vow of celibacy is on record. I, I know. <laughs> it okay. Was, it was the first thing I checked. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was hopeful, and then it was dashed. Right. Give me a control plus engineer, <laughs> both of you. All right. Uh, my control is nine and my engineering is one all right and so what what were we trying to do the first thing again i'm sorry uh main power online that's what we said or what um yeah i would assume main power online and then compute main computer online uh eight and eight and two for me control and engineering okay. so we're both tens so i mm -hmm. will mine i rolled a six and a two so, um, and I already rolled for Ash. So as you're working, suddenly the, um, for a minute, the red lights go completely off. And then, um, Shavik, damn it, oh, why'd you turn the lights <laughs> off? <laughs> After a few minutes, then you heard, hey, who turned the lights off? No, and then, um, they turn white and, uh, they're still showing very dimly, but the, uh, I'm sorry, was it computer or was it, I was reading some notes, was it computer or was it power? Power and then computer. Okay. So it turns actually not dimly white. It turns all the way um, on, and you see all of the consoles and everything starting to power up. Uh, you hear the computer and the soft whir as the air conditioners come on. And as you do, you hear a, um, a soft uh, tsp, tsp, tsp coming from the, um, the ready room. A soft sp, sp. Yeah, just like a, uh, almost like a trickle, like a tsp. Hmm. Um, well, what's my motion tracker doing? Nothing right now. Right. It sounds like the door might be stuck, or it's like trying to open. That. Well, what's behind it? Should we finish with the computer, or should we 
well, take a look. Well, it's me and 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 Finker that are doing computer things. You're completely free. Okay. You're also yeah. the chief of security. I am. So yeah. <laughs> you should be doing something. <laughs> I was trying to rope someone else into this. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go investigate the door to the ready room and try and get it to door. open properly. Yeah. Try to door it. Try to yeah. go door the Try door. To door the door. Go get the door. Bodge piece. the bodge. Stop the steal. All right, so you um, you make your way over there, um, and uh, as you open the door, uh, the lights are on. But it's really interesting because the the white light and everything has returned. But for the most part, a lot of it is in um, red. Uh, probably because the walls are really littered in red, let's say, uh, with some kind of um, dried liquid. Someone had a good time. <laughs> so mm. You uh, clearly you well, see on the wall. Someone's on the blob. There's a um, a dead figure. Uh, looks like a female, redhead, uh, human, and uh, it looks like she was using like her palm, her palms against the. Uh, so what you see is you see B. And then O, and then from the O, it actually there's a line that comes down, and her palm was like on there, so the she was using her hand to try to write this. But the Ota. And then it's pulling under. <laughs> Why um, was she thinking about needing a shower before she died? <laughs> Perhaps we will never know. <laughs> you want to give me the a... mysteries <laughs> of the hairless. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> So roll a control plus, uh, roll what you rolled last time, which would be a control plus engineering, I think. Control plus engineering. No, 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 so not that's... you. Uh, I'm talking, sorry, to oh. uh, Weasel and... All Ash. right. Uh, that was a three and a 17. All right, and then I'm rolling... For me, thank you. Know, you. I'm here for you, Bay. Oh, that could have been his roll. I get it. No, that's fine. Can't have uh, only you rolling all those ones. Uh, so uh, you successfully bring the main computer online. Uh, unfortunately, the sensors, yes. it's not like an actual starship. The sensors are still not um, powerful enough. The internal sensors are but still we not can, powerful enough. But we can access the log files, see if we can figure out what happened. You do hear on the communications, it says, uh, uh, Waco, are you picking us up? Yes, yes, we have communications back online. Is everybody okay? No. Mm, no, <laughs> they're all dead. No. Everyone's dead. <laughs> everyone's, That's dead. everyone's dead. They're all dead. Everyone is dead. There's blood everywhere. It looks like hey, something We're going to need bad. a janitor. We're gonna we need have to one survivor. The There's one floor that's full of screeching, crying things that we don't know what they are. Uh... <laughs> Someone was trying to hang themselves. It looks like someone just just fast forwarded all the way through Event Horizon until they got to that part. <laughs> They're showing all the gore. What's That's Event a... Horizon? No. Um, he yeah. says, all right, well, try to find any survivors that you can. We have enemy vessels on their way. Oh, what, sure. what kind of enemy vessels? Yes, what kind of enemy vessels? He says, um, it's the, and then all of a sudden starts garbling out, and it's hard to hear. Oh, shit, someone could... Can just... someone clear that up, please? <laughs> someone... You hear the security uh, officer? Try, attempt, who's in, who's attempt. In the, uh, hold on. No, just where you guys are right now, you hear him yelling out of the ready room. It's like, oh, that's right. what are the enemy things? And they can't hear, it's like... What? To... <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I'll Do roll we... for you. Sorry. Do we have any external sensors at all? No, the sun's um, thing is just completely... Uh, oh. So can we shut... Is there a possibility you guys can shut down what's going on? So you rolled a uh, 20 and a 13. And a 20 is really bad. Oh. Uh, a 20 Damn means... Shavik. <laughs> Shavik, why did you make him? <laughs> so as you're trying to work to clear it up, the, um, the actual communications console actually goes dead. It burnt out. Due to oh. the damage that happened. Rocks spew out of it. Yeah. 
They said to try to get any survivors. Uh, do we at least have scan uh, better scanners to find pinpoint any survivors? No, your your um, tricorders are better than the internal scanners. What exactly was this place researching? Something that apparently didn't need a very close eye. <laughs> right. Uh, I said. How f how how uh, functional is the shuttlecraft? Because we're gonna have to bail soon if there's enemies on their yes, way. Yes, we mm. we might have to bail soon and and bring this one survivor with <laughs> us. Uh, so what, what, I mean, what your kind? impulse should be back soon. Uh, the yeah. logs are still okay. there too. Well, can we have we downloaded the logs? Oh, yeah, good idea! We yes, download those. Logs. We're downloading all download the, the logs. Computer. Download get them all. Get, the get them on a memory stick. Do you want yes, to? Do you want to go through them or, or no? A floppy disk. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. I want to. I want to go through them. I want to go through. I want to go through the uh, base commander, and figure out. Based on the time, do. yeah. Based on the time of death of these uh, bodies here, we want to go to that specific. Okay, well, uh, guy. To period. be fair, if if we're going based on the death of these bodies, shouldn't we logically go to the last log entry? Yeah. Yes. What that's log true. entries <laughs> are they going to make after they're dead? <laughs> Good point. You're Start right. Start date two point four five seven. Died yesterday. <laughs> they on the duty roster. <laughs> so these are the logs that you get. Uh, it only goes okay. the ones that you find pertinent. Uh, Ten days ago. A malfunction in the exhaust system results in three maintenance workers going out to clear what was being read as a biological and technological contaminant. The report describes hundreds of cell-like organisms crowding around the intake and exhaust manifolds. The report also notes that there was an incident with a laser drill resulting in the death of two of the workers. The third was injured by the technological contaminant. Samples were brought inside and some were collected from inside the environmental systems. Nine days ago, Vital, the chief of Stellar Research, asked to examine one of the creatures, curious about how it could survive in such a hostile environment. Surgery to remove the contaminant from the worker resulted in his demise. Eight days ago, reports of the cells infiltrating the base came from all decks. Uh, there was a recorded log of Vital accessing environmental control, but the log of what he did inside the system was erased. All research logs from the database base ends and work was put on hold. Uh, six days ago, there was a technological entity that showed itself within the system but had been purged, apparently. Seven days ago, panic took over the base with fights breaking out all over. Crew were kidnapped or beaten by others and taken to the day side facility. Commander Welgen sent operations personnel to the facility via the tram, but all were lost in an explosion that appeared to be deliberate. Six days ago, order broke down completely. Adams sent the final message. Crew barricaded themselves with each other. VTOL locked out communication and scrambled all of the base's security codes. Now, from this point onward, there aren't any logs, but you guys can still see records of what the base systems uh, recognized before they went down. So do you, do you want that information or not, really? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Five days ago, one of the base's shuttles departed with two on board. They flew directly into the star and were destroyed. Oy. Three days ago, the holding tank ruptured in engineering. Main power and the computer were shut down, and there are no further entries at that point. Okay. We should probably check the air for contaminants. Uh, just in case we're breathing in Borg dust. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you would do a control plus science? Yeah, so 14 for me. Uh, okay, so I rolled a 20. And a... And a... Well, I rolled, I mean, I rolled a 3 in the last one, so... <laughs> uh... The sensor readings seem odd. You don't know what you're looking at exactly, but it appears like there may be some form of nanite technology in the um, air. Okay, everyone, uh, get um, so yeah, we're fucked. Uh, we need uh, <laughs> yeah. we need a mask. <laughs> no, uh, they, are they inside of us? Can we check? We uh, they must be we, right. Yeah, can we scan ourselves? Uh, yeah. Look for nanite contamination. Yeah, look for nanite contamination. Uh, well, from what you can tell, it's just everybody's permeate. It's permeated everywhere. You're seeing it 
like in the air and just around everybody just from with the scans okay so all right i vote that uh that we uh we we get ourselves to a uh, powerful em source okay. i like this thinking yes what well, uh, you want to do an emp well right but it'll also knock out our technology we'll have to shield it somehow uh, and maybe the well, shuttle. We don't want to knock out the shuttle either. Well, well we, we should probably get to the shuttle, given that there's a war going on outside, and we have a survivor and his pet. You also wolves. have to but, check the day side. You have to go to the other. Uh, yeah. Okay. How long do we have until the star goes explosive? Uh, you've only been there about two hours, so you're, you should. So we've fine. got another two hours, or four hours. Nine hours. Ten hours. <laughs> Unlimited hours. Ten, yeah, about ten hours. <laughs> as long as it takes hours. <laughs> um, uh, then, uh, was, the damage that, that was, is already done if they're in us already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can we even return? Well, if we're in the shuttles, they, can, they could decontaminate. Blow us up if they know anything bad. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like, yeah, let's not mention this in the next time we check in. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, guys. Our, <laughs> look, guys, I, I wanted, we may be, we may, it's possible that we're being assimilated from the inside out. Let's tell no I mean, one. you know, okay. but, you know, I had, let's, if I had to, let's, we, but let's, I, let's not stop that from having a good time. <laughs> hypothetically, I mean, if I had a friend who had a friend who was being assimilated from the inside out by Borg nanobots, I mean, I feel like, I, talk to? I feel like, you know, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that, you know, you know there's something wrong wrong or you maybe suspect but you know you know you've got stuff to do down of you have you lost interest in hobbies <laughs> are there none uh, <laughs> <Do> you... um, <laughs> but the um there was uh, as we were coming up here in the turbo lift there was noises in the floor what the second floor yeah Right, do we want to go there, or do we just want to forget about that entirely? So you have the option um, of going to the second level. You can also go to the tram state. The tram are station. there no no cameras anywhere? None working. I would like to know what the nanites are doing inside of our bodies. So I'm going to do a quick scan to see if what it's changed. Like, what are they changing? What organs are they targeting? Like, what's exactly happening with the nanites okay. in our in our bodies? Not okay. going after our junk, are they? You can give a control. <laughs> they might improve things. Control plus engineering. No, I'm sorry. All right, that'll control be plus medicine. Uh, eight and three. Gotcha. Who's rolling for him? Me. Okay. Uh, you don't see any changes inside your body just yet. <coughs> what did he mm. roll? Uh, he rolled a four and eleven. Okay, good, good. Because that sounded very ominous, and I didn't know if he had actually rolled a twenty. Maybe he didn't roll enough. Maybe it was a difficulty three. Maybe he rolled the exact amount. I don't know. Not feeling us with confidence. <laughs> well, no changes so far, so we can proceed as if so uh, have, uh, as if nothing. So you have a couple options. Uh, you can go to the second level where all the screaming and, and screeching was happening. Um, you can go back to the first level and go to the tram station, which will take you to the research facility. Uh, or you can get you the, the day, shuttle. Daytime one. Yeah, that's the research research part. The daytime where the research because mm. um, everything on this side was more for the crew and everything. That's where the actual research facility is. It's all a research facility. But what's separating the level that we're on from the second level? Steel. Well, I mean, yeah, it's but what is it like a? Is it a floor? Like, could we just open up a little bit of the floor and just peek I mean, you down? You could cut there? open the floor if you wanted to. Yeah, you could. I'm just well, like, are still, there panels? Still, well, that yeah, we we've just still open. got. We've still well, we've still got our phasers, so yeah, we could poke a hole. Yeah, but the and... thing about our phasers is, once we open a hole with the phasers, we can't plug a <laughs> hole. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if you take, well, you know, if you take, if you grab, you know, if you find a good panel and then like, um, you know, hold it, you can reseal. You could reseal, but also, like, that would preclude the possibility of something climbing up. Like, okay, even if it does climb up, it, it, it only has one hole to climb out of, so we can, you know, we can manage that, right? 
Sure, no matter how many come through, you'd be fine. Oh yeah, no, because well, we'll they can only come through. Fine well, because well, they could only come through like you know a few at a time, and we could drop a uh, stun grenade down there if, if you, it really comes to that. Could you very very control? We could like cut a very small hole yeah. enough for someone to just like peek. Yeah, like into. A, 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 yeah. Then okay, I we could do that, I guess. They would whatever's in there would be attracted to the noise it would make, so we. would we would see what was in there. It would look at us and know that we're there. As long as you pass the rolls with no 20s, I think you wouldn't have any issues doing it. Okay. Um, so do you want to do that, Venom? <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, what is that? Is that, uh... So you're setting, uh, you're setting it to kill to be able to go past the <coughs> Duranium. Okay, yeah, everyone, yeah. Let, just to be sure, stand by well back okay got it <sighs> okay so a roll right 17 okay and five okay hold on and uh i am going to roll how are you going to help him exactly or are you doing it yourself i'm also doing it okay so you're doing two holes yes yes okay hold on so One second. I apologize. I'm finding the right thing. It'll just take me a minute. Here we go. I think okay. this is it. I think this one's it, boys. All right. Uh, so control plus security. What's your control plus security, Venom? Uh, control plus security is nine and four. Okay. 13. All right. So there's one success. And roll it, Weasel, and then tell me what your control plus security is. My control plus security is 9 plus 3. I rolled a 12 and a 9. Okay. Um, so it's taken you some time, Venom. You haven't broken through yet. Uh, Noah, you still you are able to actually get through in a small... There's a small hole there that now I've made. Would you like to get on the ground and put your eye right up to it to see through? All right. Uh... Stinker, you go down there and look and stick your flashlight down there and just, just peer and just look in the hole. How big is this hole? It's just like an eye hole? It's an eye hole, yeah. Yeah, just So you gotta put your right. eye you gotta put your look eye right up hole. to it. Oh, please right. don't tell me this is directed by Alex Kurtzman. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> the eye violence. Alright, I will do it, uh and I will have my flashlight just like slightly to the side. Right. Or Are you gonna however. tell them about your on file or not really before? Uh this time I kind of <laughs> want to use my Delton powers, so I'm not gonna tell them that my vow of celibacy is before on Before I look down this hole, my vow of celibacy is on file. <laughs> <laughs> so as you look down, um, first thing you see actually is uh, something peering up. It's a brown creature. It's like wah, 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 like just making little noises or whatever. Another rat thing. Uh, Another thing, yeah. Another actually, furby thing. Or it whatever. actually is trying to jump up to get to you. Uh, after a brief few minutes, you see what almost looks like um, a dog-like creature uh, with... Um, uh, metallic tentacles and uh, different oh, machinery God. coming out of it just swoop by and just grabs it, chomping it as blood splatters everywhere and just keeps running. Okay, well, there you go. That's our answer. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. that's so that's... Um, can we that's can we reseal this hole, please? Yeah, can we get a piece of a, piece of a console or something? Just weld it to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still Thank firing you. on your side? No, uh, no, please stop. I'm done. Stop. I'm please done. stop. <laughs> yeah, no, please. <laughs> Don't look. Stop. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I say, I say we, we get in the shuttle and we tell them to quantum torpedo this from okay. orbit. So you're Starfleet officers and you're choosing not to go <laughs> to the day side to help out people, just to confirm. Look, oh yeah, I, we should... <laughs> <laughs> you should I mean, do that too. It's true. A good point. We should okay. uh, just... probably try to kill one of the dog things if we run into it, and then bring its body aboard the Titanic, and uh, 
And uh, assuming the Titanic's even there, because we had no communication, so, so it could have been destroyed. So you think we should go down there? We we know where one of these dogs are, so should we go after No, it? no, we know where one of those are, so we're going to lock it in that room. So we're going to we'll not... So we're going to intentionally avoid that dog and yes, hopefully we happen on another. Yes, intentionally avoid that thing. <laughs> if we encounter another, we're going to kill it and then take and, it to the Titanic. And take its Titanic right. body. Take it I, body if we come Titanic. across another dog that we're not expecting to come across. Yes. I say we take the shuttle to the day side uh, so that we have it close at hand in case we have to answer <laughs> all of a sudden uh, instead of the tram. Yeah. I agree. That is a good idea. Okay, so you guys are making your way back to the shuttle? Yes, passing the terrible dog creature floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not going anywhere near that. All right, so you make your way back down, uh, and you get to the shuttle without any issues. Uh, the guy is still uh, completely out of it. Um, you don't see any, no transformations or anything like that. And we tied him to something, right? Yeah, we restrained him. Okay, good. Okay. Keeping an eye on that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. How's that rat creature doing? You just, you just boop. You hear it. It's trying to get out. So. Okay. okay, good. So it's not transforming into a dog creature with tentacles. Okay. Well, All of a sudden I, you feel just like, I feel like it'll, we'll know when it does because it'll come out of the cupboard, won't it? <laughs> yes, I don't think this locker will hold it. Hold it. <laughs> when it turns into that, when it reaches its final form. All right. Yeah. So who's uh, who's flying? I think I think the uh, Borg na- possible Borg nano probes malfunction and are only converting animals into or dogs or something into uh, cyborgs. Um, Wait. Well, how will it tell the difference? Is it just They're things next. with fur? Yeah, that's <laughs> probably what's happening. Just, it's the, it's, yeah, it's the furries, too. Just the speculation that that might be what's happening, if they are, in fact, yeah, Borg Nano. There was, a little, little did you know, there was actually a furry convention on this planet, <laughs> and they're all, be, they, they're all assimilated now. <laughs> it's, it's turned into a cyberpunk convention. Anyhow, we better get a move on to the yeah. day side. So... Who's who's uh, is that me piloting again? Uh, <laughs> yes, you did a good job last time. Okay, yeah, my, you you do that. You got my piloting whiskey right. So that is what is that? <laughs> that is uh, control. Is it... it is control plus uh, con. Con. Con plus um... control plus con. Control plus con. Okay. So that is 12. And then 18. 7. Okay. So the um, the uh, shuttle has still taken quite a, a bit of damage. Um, hmm. As you're uh, coming out, the uh, sensors actually detect two Bajoran ships uh, on an intercept course, uh, and the communications come up. Okay, um, let me talk to them. I spent some time on Bajor helping them catalog ancient artifacts. And be sure to let them know that my vow of celibacy is on record. I will let them know as soon as they, they, they call in. <laughs> as soon as they come in, I will tell them. Okay. So are you answering it then? Yes. Okay. You uh, you hear it says this is the Bajoran Republic. Your ship is in violation. Prepare to be boarded. Uh. Um. That would be uh, negative. Negative on that board. Uh, negative. We have a uh, possible contaminant on this shuttle. Uh, we are we're containing it uh, right now. But any boarding party would possibly be subjected to a contaminant. We are. We are in the middle of uh, of sealing that. They would so don't don't board. Okay. You hear the lies of the Federation are well known with the Bajoran Republic, uh, and then the comms shut off, and they actually begin firing on you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The weapon you got some evasive 
evasive actions and okay. try to land us. <laughs> yeah, so that's me, isn't it? That's gonna have to do some evasive. Do some evasive. Do some fancy footwork there, Venom. <laughs> right. So what Shavik. is? As I don't know like, what you did to make them angry, Shavik, but they don't like us. <laughs> As the ships. Meanwhile, fire. can we? Can we also target their uh, their uh, engines? Do we uh, have weapons? The shuttle does. The shuttle does, but you oh, can good. you can either dogfight or you can try to get away. You can't do both. Oh, get away! I think that, get away. That get said, away. that said, while they're firing on you, you actually see the Titanic coming behind, and you hear in the communications Ooh. it says, "Don't worry, we have you." Um, Cardassian allied ships on the way, and then they fire. This the, timeline's uh, very different. Yeah. Okay. This timeline's this... way different. Wait a minute! I thought just the Kidmer Accords were. The, the, but there's no common point. effects. There's yeah, no common effects. Yeah, but to that. when we when we looked for it, I would have noticed that. <laughs> I mean, clearly you weren't thorough enough in your research. I mm. was very yeah, clearly thorough. you were just clearly you were just procrastinating. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe Shavik, if you weren't distracting me, I might be able to get something done. But every time I try to research something, it's always like, oh, look at me, I'm Shavik, and you're like doing handstands or whatever in the hallway. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so I need to do evasive maneuvers, right? Yeah, uh, to get to the, um, to land, uh, at the day side, which is probably the safest option right now. Yeah, so Yeah, I'd is... go for, uh, Riker Beta 3, uh, Sigma as yeah. your evasive maneuver. So that is... Stop dead that? in our tracks and open all the port doors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, uh, Control and, uh, what else? Con. Uh, control and cons, so yeah. that is 12, 2, 9. Okay, so yeah, you successfully make it. You didn't see him freak out. If you go back, you can uh, see he just jumped up and freaked out and wanted to be in my uh, in my arms. Um, no, I'm, I'm looking at that cute damn, damn cat. So... <laughs> So anyway, um, what happened was uh, you land successfully um, and make your way out. And he freaked out and caused my books to fall over. Oh, God, and my notes. Uh, you see the fighting happening outside. Um, that is actually an interesting thing, though, I was going to note. And that's something that... Uh, even Ash seems surprised by it. So that's something that uh, Ash didn't seem to be aware of. And you wouldn't, you didn't notice anything like that in uh, when you were doing research. Everything else seemed to... The um, Cardassians had pulled back. The Federation was still coming in. Well, I feel like that's not the main concern right now. We can worry about Bajoran and Bajoran Karens later. The Bajoran Karens. <laughs> <laughs> They're the worst, those Bajoran Karens. <laughs> All right. So, I need to see your manager. So, um... The, Would uh, Kira be a Karen? <laughs> Just kidding. She's the worst of the Karens. <laughs> she's, so they're Kiras. Bajoran Karens are Kiras. <laughs> As you actually make your way, the that side was not designed to have a shuttle bay. That's why the shuttle bay was on the other side. You do find a way to actually uh, intersect and land and actually connects to it. Uh, this is... Uh, you see that there's a small transit center that was connected to it. You didn't go that way, of course. Uh, to the side, there are a few private offices and storage... Uh, lockers, but really it's a very small area, and the um, the research uh, bay is like right in front of you. You see uh, Vitol, the guy, the research analyst. You actually uh, see him, and he appears to be working on a computer. He hasn't turned around yet. Uh, he's covered in what appear to be some kind of uh, like neural parasite. There are like dozens of them uh, on. Uh, his back and his um, head as well as his arms uh, coming out of them there are actual uh, different kinds of mechanical things including um, uh, various tubes and such and the uh, neural parasites themselves are actually pulsing and as uh, 
as he's moving around, you see new tubes starting to come out and move. Head cracks. So, r- right. Do we want to uh, try to see if there's anything left, human left, this or Vulcan or whatever, left in this guy? Or do we just shoot him in the back? Also, holy shit, is this going to happen to us? <laughs> That's just the conversation we're having. <laughs> The question is, do we want to shoot him in the face, or do we want to shoot him in the back? You Never know. going to get a date looking like that. Is that what you say to him? I, you say that I'd like loud? to. Uh, I'd like to do a low-level stun and see uh, to his back. I think his back is a good idea because we might need him to talk. Yeah, assuming stunning him doesn't make them blow up or kill him or give them more energy mm. so they replicate faster. Good point. Uh, wait, aren't you Vulcan? What? No, you're Andorian, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What? I'm, no, I'm, I'm Cation, Andorian. He's Cation. I'm That's what Cation. I meant. I meant you, Andorian. <laughs> no, uh, I, no. I would Does anyone not. know a Vulcan neck pinch? Can we neck pinch in him? In front of him. In front uh, of him. I, know, I know an Andorian sucker punch, but in I'm not <laughs> getting anywhere near him. I could strangle him with my tail. In front of him. Oh, that's a good... <laughs> you could savage him with your claws. True, Why don't we try, I could. Try to get his attention from as far away from him as possible, like, and just be like, hey, yo. Hey, killer, what's up? <laughs> so, as you see him tapping and, and working on things, um, there's actually a, um, what looks like a... Uh, mechanical device that uh it almost kind of looks like a a ray gun to a degree and it's actually aimed directly at the sun and while he's working it's uh pulling the energy from the sun itself okay um maybe we should try and get his attention perhaps he is not a danger but is in fact trying to do something incredibly helpful and we don't know what it is yet uh, sucking the energy from the sun. Maybe sounds... he is doing good things <laughs> look, with the energy. Look, like you know, helping okay, orphans. If you want to go up there and give him, <laughs> give him orphan, a tap on the shoulder. The orphanage that we broke down, he's trying to get them enough energy. to. I just, everyone keep your phasers ready. I have disarming nature. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I have I have a yeah disarming nature it's literally called that and I'll just just tap on the wall just to get his attention okay. like, it'd be like a cat at the back door just sort of pouring at the back door yes Latrem gets up next to the wall and just goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no just just like just like with a with a claw just like hey make a little bit of noise uh so slowly he starts turning around. Here to rescue you. The pulsing um, uh, parasites start turning different colors. As he turns around, you can see one eye socket. Uh, there's an eye in one in the socket. Uh, a um, uh, a, uh, a uh, tubule comes out and like attaches to the top of his head. Uh, and he looks at you. And uh, he just says, pain. Uh-huh. Yeah, we need to well, put him out. Of <laughs> I, I can. I, I. I. I'm not surprised, mate. <laughs> yeah, and we need to shut down this device that's sucking the energy from the sun. We need to like. Yeah. We need to like destroy you, this whole operation. You need uh, uh, Tylenol. Or... He takes. A, <laughs> he takes a step. Do you need a paracetamol? He takes a step towards you and says, "Pain." <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a little step back here. Uh, yeah, no pain. Yes, we. Uh, yes. Uh, pain. Right. Right. He yes. Pain. This is, he takes another this is just step. straight off out of Doctor Who. Isn't it? <laughs> he um, takes another step towards you. Okay. Right, do we want to just? Okay, let, uh, I'm gonna. Start I'm just gonna. <laughs> let me, yeah, me too. Yeah, let's stun him right now. Yeah, two stuns ought to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get take my facer out too. Like, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, chief of security, give me a control plus security. Control plus security. So that is nine and four, so 13. And then 12, 14. Okay, so you get one hit. 
or you, you get one success. You fire and it hits him, but it doesn't um, it doesn't take him down. Uh, so who else was firing? Me, I'm gonna up the <laughs> up the power on my st- <laughs> maximum stun. Right. Really, let him know that your vow of celibacy <laughs> is on file. Yes, that too. You're gonna scream it out. That. My vow of celibacy <laughs> is on is file. On <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, what's what's your um, control oh, yeah. plus security? Yeah. Oh, uh, eight plus one. Oh, nine. nine. All right. Hold on. I'm rolling. I got it. Okay. Six and a four. So you hit him. Uh, success. So it hits him straight. It actually seems to be causing him. Uh, it actually, like hurts him. Uh, he falls oh. to one knee, and he's uh. he like screams in anguish. Um, uh. Two more tubules come out. Uh, as he as he looks to you, he like just like tries to reach out, and as he does, all of a sudden a, a blur comes up, and um, what can only be um, described as uh, pus and uh, bulges and veins and metal. It's really hard for you to see, but this creature just rams into him and grabs him by the throat and sends him forward and begins mangling his body. Oh. oh, it's the dog thing, right? That's got to be the dog thing, right? Is, okay, yeah. Do we? Is he we, gonna be okay? We shoot it. No, we gotta shoot the <laughs> it's dog. Just a flesh wound. Well, okay, you know so what? So you have uh, the you have the dog thing mangling him. There is access to the console. Okay. Okay. I, th- I think uh, I think all phasers set to kill from from this point on. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Phasers yeah. Set to kill. We'll shoot the doggo. And, uh, and I'll go get the computer logs. Yeah. And turn off the... Should I turn off the... I should try to turn off the solar... Turn off the, the well, laser. Figure, the solar out, sucker. figure out what it's doing first. Okay, okay, got it. Turn it off and then find out, oh, wait, that was the thing keeping the sun from just exploding now. Good idea, my lord. Okay, yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to determine what it's doing. Go yeah. to the console and figure out what's going on. All right, so we'll do you first, Ash. Uh, give me a... What's your control plus engineering? Uh, that would be 10 total. 15. 18. Uh, you're having an issue understanding what it's attempting to do, so you're not going to be able to figure out what it's actually doing. So you still have the option of turning it off, or attempting to. What do you guys think? I... It's not working. I can't determine what it's doing. Uh, what if you? What if you jump in and I'll take on the shooting job? So you want just you going up against the beast, Venom? I mean, <laughs> n- you put it like that. <laughs> uh, um, here, here, stinker. You know, maybe, may. Well, because also, like the 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 sun's still like some time away from you know going off, so. Like, we've got time to subdue this thing. We think. I think Stinker can turn around and help him, and then I'm going to go over to the computer console, because mm-hmm. I have And also. try, yeah. Finkter yes. is focused on the computer. That was his action. Oh. Uh, well, she's okay. not going to be okay. able to turn around and grab her uh, gun after that. Okay. You can help I'm... her, or you can let Venom die. You can help Venom, whichever one you want. I'm what? going to help Venom. Let, uh, let, gonna... <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was a Freudian slip whoa, right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, let why Venom was die. that? You can help way, her or let her die? I said let Venom die. Finkter is not, uh, is not uh, a female, by the way. Just Oh, FYI, I thought you but... were. I'm sorry. I thought you did a female. No, you could, you could they, I could be a, a they, them, though. You can, you can, I can be, you know, non- Sure. Non-binary. It's whatever you want to be. I just thought I thought it was female. I'm sorry. My bad. Wait. I, I look Sarah female, but. Female? <laughs> no, I thought you wrote the character for like a female. It's my bad. I apologize. I didn't. Oh, interesting. That's fine. People think I'm a woman all the time. It wasn't because related. my vow is stuff. It wasn't. No, oh, just... okay. It's not related to I'm you teasing. on a personal note. No, it's fine. It's all right. We're gonna make it weird now. It's gonna get weird. No, no, no. <laughs> all right. But um, yes. <laughs> Back to the shooting the dog thing, <laughs> or doing the computer. So Ash, uh, you can help Ash, or you can, um, or you can help Venom, or you can help Ash. I'm going to help Venom shooting the dog. Okay, 
So we're still with Ash, then. What do you want to do? Um, I would like to try to uh, use my tricorder to enhance... Uh, is it possible to enhance uh, my ability to determine what's going on? No. We've, there's no way. You can't figure it out at this no point. No way. Okay. Uh, guys, what do you think? I Should I shut this thing down? It's the only option I have left. Give us a second. Yeah, we're <laughs> kind of in second. the middle of something here. We're in the middle can of I... killing this doggo. <laughs> doggo. Can I turn around and help them kill the doggo? No, you can't. This is this okay. is your action. Right. So let's get to killing this dog. Let's 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 go with killing. Shoot the dog. All right. Um. Well, no. We. So it's. It's ashes. You have to make the decision at this point. Is what I'm saying. So I can only I can only shut this thing down or. No, I mean you. you this is your action, so you can choose what you want to do. So you can shut it down. You can leave it on. If you have something else you want to try to do that doesn't involve determining if it helps or not, we can we can look at that. Oh, I see. Um. Like you could try to redirect it. Then you could aim it at you could try aiming it at a Bajoran ship and see what happens. Ooh, yes, that's what I'm going to actually... I'm actually going to try to link the computer to the ship, to the Titanic. Okay. To... So the Titanic can take over control. So what? it's not our responsibility anymore. Exactly. <laughs> so what are... You're trying to give them control of it? Of the computer, yeah, so they can use it how they see fit like if they want to point the thing at the bajorans that's fine but we'll and then we'll take over the the, the doggo the signal isn't isn't strong enough to, strong enough to connect it to it. all right you then, can aim it then let's point it yeah let's aim it at the bajoran ships to help out the titanic okay aim the sun at the bajoran <laughs> ships <laughs> well now so it's <laughs> it's like draining all the everything from the sun so this will be interesting if it is successful uh, so that would be a con plus, uh, engineer. So that'll be 10. 10. Okay. Rolling 11, rolling 17. So you aren't able, so what you are able to do is you don't hit one of the Bajoran ships, but you do actually aim it off. And so it stops hitting the sun itself. And so now it's just going into the void, uh, probably making someone else's day very bad at some point. Mm. Uh, but it isn't hitting the sun anymore. So, all right. So now we're going to Venom and Weasel. Okay, we're fire. We're shooting. We're Shoot shooting the dog. Shooting the the dog. So control God. plus security. We're gonna do Venom first. Okay, control plus security. So that is uh, thirteen. All right. So that is nine. And then seven. Okay, so two solid hits. Go, Weasel. All right, I am nine plus three, so that's 12. I got a 15 and a 16. Okay, so you mess. Uh, so it's just leeching into the uh, to VTOL and uh, just tearing off chunks of him. You successfully hit Venom, uh, and it... The dog is like hit, and it is stunned for a second. Turns around and and looks um, looks directly at you. Oh, <laughs> so, so, so we've weasel, pissed it off. So weasel uh, <clears throat> didn't hit. So it it um it starts coming towards you, growling softly. You can see um, um, some of the same neural parasites. They actually seem to like burst and just a little spark. Um, contaminants get into the air that you see and uh, it's growling and it makes a, a run for you oh it's like the Borg flood yeah it's like a and, uh, Borg, Borg slash flood um, do if do I have a time to throw a stun grenade at it no we're gonna see if you uh, dodge it though there's that that's about to happen okay right <laughs> so what do I need for that uh, to wait while I get, put all this together I do have I do have my focus in CQB, so yeah, dodging. Oh, that's good. We should remember dodging, that. that's going to be very important for you. So dodging things, I also um, yeah, constantly watching. I'm you know. All right, so he um, 
It lurches at you. Because of your CQP training, you actually are able to barely dodge out of the way. Though one of the claws, Oof. one of the claws does hit you on the arm. Getting a getting a pretty good strike, but you're otherwise undamaged. Um, so now we're in round two. Ash, you're able to actually join this at this point too. Uh, if you need to do something, we can pause the same. Yeah, go. We can pause. Uh. So the animal, while you guys, the animal turns around. He's getting ready to strike again, and so it'll go Noah, Venom, and uh, or it'll go Ash, Venom, Ash. Okay, and Noah. back. All right. That's your turn. So you, you turn around, you pull out your rifle, or what are you going to do? Two. I have both my phaser rifles. I'm going to shoot at it with both of my phaser, phaser rifles. Right. Full kill. So, uh... At Doggo. What's your uh, control plus security again? It's 11, right? Uh, uh no, 8, 9. It's, it's a what? Eight. It's a 9. It's a 9. 8 okay. and 1. Eight and one. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said eight and nine, which makes it seventeen. I was like, that's an impossible number to have. So I was, I was no, 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 sorry. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> I was added. Hit. Ooh, and a one. All right, so uh, you'll get. I don't know how dual wielding works, but I'll I'll give you three hits on it. Um, okay. And that seems to really cause it some grief. So Weasel, what are you doing? Uh, I am also going to shoot it. Okay. So I rolled a eleven. I've I've got thirteen. So yeah. my my con so an eleven and a two. So I also hit. Venom, what are you doing? Um, I'll take another shot at the fucker. Or is it too is it too close for that? And do it. You is can. It, should I? You can try to brawl it, but you can also shoot it if you'd like. Okay, if I've still got the option to shoot it, I'll shoot it. All right. Does it not seem the thing to tangle with? So. Daring and security. Daring and security. So that will be 10 and 4 to 14. Plus. So then. There we go. Shit. What'd you roll? What? I rolled the fucking 20. <laughs> oh, God! I rolled the 20! What the hell? <laughs> Damn then, it, why? Let's see if I can reclaim this. I'll see if I can reclaim Damn this. Damn it! And it's a another five. 20. Twenty and five. Right. Shit. So it's it's taking a big beating. It's it's getting the hell um, beat out of it. Uh, as it comes forward, you rush. You go to fire in the first instance, and it actually fails. It's like the the gun jams somehow, even though it's an electrical gun. Yeah, or uh, mechanical. It jumps up and it actually grabs hold of your shoulder. Uh, fangs sinking inside of you and tubules coming out, getting ready to strike you as well. Ew. Finally, finally, the gun successfully hits at close range and kills it, but it knocks you over on your back, and so now it's just, like, dripping on you. Okay, can you get this thing off of me? Get, get it off of him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use my phaser rifle to, like, just, just push it <laughs> off you. Uh, it's, it's got its fangs stuck in you, though, so you're gonna have to... Okay, we're going to have to amputate your arm at the shoulder. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Chevy. Cut it. It'll just, you know, rip the jaw off. Or do you want me to chop its head off? I've got. I've still got my Yushan tour. I can. Just... I can set the Might rifle take a while. to vaporize, and I will vaporize the dog. Well, ca no. Careful now! Careful now! Be very painless careful. and painful at the same time. Somehow. We'll see. You could have you stun him first. It's like you probably don't want to be awake. For don't much. worry, I'll stun you with the back end of my gun. It'll be the most painless way to stun you. It's a blessing, really. Uh, uh, okay, I think I can. I'm going to try to remove the fangs uh, surgically with my phaser. You can try to remove it without the phaser. I will stick the the front end of the phaser in the mouth and like try and use it like a pry bar to like. Okay. Give me a con plus medicine, I guess. Or, hold uh, on. You, one of you has first aid. Nine and one, so ten. But one of you has first aid. That's right, oh, but it's too aid. late. I have first aid. Ash, too late. Ash, you have first aid too, don't you? Do I? I, I don't you see did. it tacked. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, tactical, scientific, psychology, technology, team dynamics, meditation, and counseling. Nothing okay. that's useful right now. You could walk him through Oh, it. counseling. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> sit down, sit down next to Shavik. I just want to let you know that my vow of celibacy is still on file. <laughs> on while you, while you pat his head. But, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't, dear child, if it wasn't. All right, so go ahead and give me a roll. Okay, I'm going to roll. And floor. Okay. Two. Two. All right. So you you successfully get them out, even though there's like blood all over the place. There. Both. I'm sure you're not infected with anything. Green and blue blood everywhere. All right. So uh, after successfully getting that off, um, you're contacted by the Titanic, which uh, at this point uh, was able to run off the Bajoran ships. Uh, the actual vessel itself is, or not the vessel, the, um, weapon is actually turned off and, uh, you guys are returned to the ship, it, returned to the ship, uh, well, without any other issues. I'm we're sorry. Are going to investigate the thing and figure out what the hell it was doing or will some other crew do that? Well, it's, it's getting pretty late, uh, especially for Venom. So I was kind of uh. doing, but they determined it was actually sucking the life of the, uh, sun. From what they could tell, it appears like some force uh, had overtaken uh, the crew, and specifically VTOL. Uh, so there's two pieces to it that you learn. First off, the, um, the uh, research with the nanoprobes and the actual um, neural parasites were two separate things that just happened at the same time. Uh, the nanotech was being researched. These parasites showed up. Uh, the nanotechs got inside of the um, the neural parasites and created like a a super parasite that was able to overtake various um, species. It didn't seem to matter. Uh, originally, the crew was trying to stop it, and they would have if not for this overpowering presence that's described. At first, uh, the research station, the people on it. Uh, seemed to report peace because they opened up other vlogs and it seemed really peaceful, really happy. And uh, all of a sudden the presence just overtook them and they started trying to attach parasites to effectively everything. Well, that sounds uh, familiar. Um, the, you are actually, there is one record left by VTOL that was in the um, research facility talking about a Bajoran moon that... Uh, was the site of where they was going to continue these experiments. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys, you guys return to the ship um, and you're getting fixed up. Now, uh, if you'd like, I know people are tired and everything, but if you have any questions or you want to talk to the executive officer or there's anything we kind of want to research at this point, I'm going to let you guys do that before we end. Well, didn't we have a Bajoran officer on this ship? Correct, yep. But we're also at war with the Bajoran yeah. Republic. What's going on with that? So what you find is that there isn't actually a war with the Bajoran Republic, but the uh, but Bajor and the Federation have been in skirmishes with um, Starfleet and Cardassia. When uh, the Klingons, the Klingons consistently and constantly attacked uh, the Federation. That continued going on, but unlike in like yesterday's Enterprise, they actually didn't take over. Uh, they did still do an attack on Cardassia, but uh, the Federation allied with the Cardassians. So it was the Cardassian Klingon War actually included Starfleet as a um, ally. The Bajorans instantly turned against Starfleet, kicked them off of the space station, and uh, things have been tense ever since. So was there was there a Cardassian border war, and thus subsequently the treaties that led to? the crisis in the DMZ and the formation of the Maquis. Uh, yeah, so the that was still there, but the Maquis are now against both Starfleet and um, the Federation, because that happened before this. So Starfleet is best, it's basically a starfleet Cardassian alliance on this side of the map, uh, where they have the Maquis, the Bajorans, and the Klingons to contend with. Oh, great. It's huh. a... Uh... So the uh, the XO is still Bajoran. He just he doesn't agree. He didn't agree with allying with the Cardassians, but he also saw what the Klingons was doing was wrong. So he disagrees that the Baj Bajor turned against them. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So are, are we in? Are we infected? Yeah. Yeah. Should we maybe? Yeah, we still. Go I mean, are to... you gonna? Are you gonna tell them or how are you gonna go about? Uh, I mean, well, uh, we should. Oh I yeah, feel the like well, we could... on the shuttle too. Yeah. And the rat thing. Yeah. What was going on with those rat things? Because like I, I felt like they were gonna be the thing, and then it was just the dog. No, they were. They were just like like rats. Um, Indigenous so, yeah. life forms, or something. So, in a nutshell, all we have here is just a worthless, random rat. So, I mean, breakfast well, we still is have sorted. the dude. Yeah, it's true. We still have the dude who's oh, yeah, unconscious. The, the guy, yeah. The the S and M dude, the sadomasochism <laughs> dude. So he was a researcher. Uh, the information that he provides is basically how you got a lot of this that um, he didn't know about the nanotechnology. He found out that through um, secure uh, measures. But uh, they found these um, parasites that seemed to have the ability to impact and take over humanity or anything that they touched. Um, the, dog, the, the other interesting piece, though, is those dog things. Uh, he didn't see any dogs or anything. They seemed to just come out of nowhere. He's not sure where they are coming from. And there's no hmm. records on why they were there. I don't like the sound of this. This sounds so suspiciously open-ended. So should we... <laughs> like, uh, uh, so, right, should we... Should I maybe go... Should we go to sick bay together, or should we go, like, individually and so... try and invoke <coughs> patient confidentiality? So depending, I on, say we go as a team. Yeah, depending on how you do it is impactful to how they're going to react. Um, I mean, there is patient, there is patient doctor uh, confidentiality. Probably not going to uh, be that strong if there's a chance it'll impact the ship, though. So there's that to consider. Mm. I say we go as a team and we be completely honest with them about this. <laughs> and then they come up. Yes. So let's say I had a friend. <laughs> Who had yeah. a friend? Let's let's say I have a cousin who has a coworker who has who has a, a who has a, who had a dog, and the who dog got a... a real bad case, like real bad case of uh, like rabies, like you wouldn't believe, like the it's dog like cybernetic got... also, friend... cybernetic rabies. Also, this friend may have been breathing an intensely uh, saturated uh, environment with uh, with nano uh, probes and uh, and a pathogen and, of some kind. And just, also, you know, just, they were just look, I mean, they were just looking to have a good time, you know, you know. Yeah. Just, and also, know. bo, you know, there's bo <laughs> yeah, written in there's blood BO. on the wall. I mean, come on. I mean, that's just like that's blatant. I don't feel like that. Needs saying. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, are you honest or you are going to try to sidetrack it? I am going to be honest. Okay. For, Save. For oh, this. I suppose this. I've got to be honest then. Yes, Shavik, we're not going to lie to them again. <laughs> well, I mean, because it's, easy for you to, it's easy for you to say you didn't get mauled by a cyber doggo. <laughs> Shavik, it's not my fault that you let the dog maul you. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> why didn't you I don't know why you Oh yeah, I just, I just edit. let it happen. I let it happen. I was like, come on, dog. Well, Shavik, I, you, you put your phaser down and you were like, come here, doggy. <laughs> Even Go while on. we were Go shooting on. at it to get it off you, you were like, I still love you. I got the bone. I still love you. I don't blame you for any of this. <laughs> Um, so, uh, they do scans. They put the ship on quarantine, of course. Um, there's no Borg or nanoprobes technology caught within you. So what was B.O., though? Well, B.O. probably did stuff for <laughs> Borg, but you also yeah. rolled a 20. So you oh. didn't know what you were looking at. So it, it really did think it was just B.O. Oh, she, she thought <laughs> no. everyone stank and she thought it so strongly that she killed herself. No, I mean, the, the, scan, def the scanner was the scanner told you there were bored nanites in the air. There just wasn't just because you rolled a 20. It was a complication. Mm. I I like that that Latrem just thought it was B.O. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had to. Uh, 
Everyone stank Needed on a shower. the showers, apparently. Showers were, showers were broken. He's very sick I mean, of it. <laughs> I mean, I mean that, that kind of makes sense. It's like Quark says, you know, you take away the sonic showers and, you know, civilization breaks down. She knew she was dying anyway, That's so true. she wanted to make a statement. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to change the world for the better. Yo, big problem. <laughs> There's something to fix it. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out these guys. we got Starfleet Boy, who is awesome and does all kinds of things. Starfleet and connected very well. We also have Venom Geek Media, who uh, is writing a Dominion War series. Pretty cool. You can check all of these in the description. Cute Fuzzy Weasel actually has his own channel that he does not upload to, but does some excellent stuff that makes me laugh, laugh all the time. He needs to do quite yeah, a lot stuff. more of it. Well, I've got a new episode coming out this week. Oh, so you'll have to check that yep. out. I have a new episode coming out this week. And uh, we're going to see you on the next one, guys.